There we go. I did all the good things. I did all the good things. Hey, Hotsy. Drunk storm trooper. Some stuff's happened. <laughs> hey, rage spawn. How come I see yesterday's chat? I don't know. I haven't turned off my computer since yesterday, so maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe that's it. Have I been streaming for 48 hours straight? Never. Never. Not possible. <laughs> Not possible. Hey, genetically modified... Bleh. Hello, hey, Hiki. Hey, genetically modified dirt. Rez... Rez... Zor light. That J. That J. A weird noise. Alright, I need to get real quick before I forget. I already did fishing for this morning. That's all good. Now I just gotta listen to see if Helly's coming. Hey, water raccoon. Core loss. Dex. Here we are. Thursday stream. Ooh, you're getting cold already. Do I need to get the, uh... Let's see. Let's take an assessment of your clothes. Are you wearing a sweater? You are currently wearing a sweater. I think she'll be fine when she starts moving around, honestly. Outside. Oh, maybe... Do you, do you have room for cooked fish? How about you eat this fish? And then I put another in your backpack. Hmm? Another thick fog day, come on. Why you do this to me, game? Why you do this to me? And tomorrow, heavy cloud cover? Is it gonna be a storm tomorrow? Oh, amazing. And it is the air activity day. I'm debating. I'm debating. I think I'm still Helicopter! Here. Helicopter! I don't wanna be out in the fog fighting zombies. I think we stay here. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Dude, what does my tattoo say? Good afternoon, Claire and chat. Good afternoon to you, Sid. I have seven spears on us. I'm going to barricade uh, the front doors because that's what I care about. I care about protecting my beautiful glass doors. And then I think... Uh, I don't want to risk the helicopter event starting at the lake, so... I'm just going to start reading now. Just start reading now. I think there's also fish that could be cooked. We could do a little fish cooking. But I know I need mechanics volume one. Trapping's already read. Can't read the next fishing. So yeah, just mechanics. We can knock that out. Oh, and it's beginning already. <laughs> it's beginning already. So, no reading? No reading? The goal is to, uh, fight. If 
fight through this apocalypse. Fight through this helicopter event. I think it'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine. Yeah, get ready. It, I'm, I'm ex it's gonna be a delayed helicopter. I need to keep reminding myself that. It's always a delayed helicopter event out here in the woods. It's gonna take them a long time to walk, walk to me. So I'm just gonna chill up here. And wait for them to emerge. Did you spawn into this location? Um, I, I used Pills Cabin spawn. I spawned near Rat 7, spawned right up here in this little cabin. And she is she has covered quite the distance. She's been all all over here. Even up there. She's she's been quite the journeyer. Did I have fought been fighting in this area before? I've had a helicopter event in this area before. I'm not expecting to be overrun with zombies. I will be very surprised and taken aback if I'm overrun with zombies. But you never know, it's always a possibility on 16x. <laughs> it's always a possibility. Ooh, foraging is absolutely terrible, but you know what? Why not? Are there any other nails I forgot out here, actually? Ooh, it's like free nails. Also, how could a helicopter be flying in this? <laughs> no way. No way a helicopter could be flying in this. I hope there aren't a bunch just like banging on the cabin. They just ignored me. I'm wondering also if that's it for the helicopter or they're coming back. I feel like on bad weather days, the helicopter event can tend to be really short. It's almost creepier that no one has showed up. Where the fuck are you, zombies? Where are you? Maybe they're still coming. I'm probably speaking far too soon. There. There they are. I knew I couldn't get out of this event zombie free. But this is great. More sheet rope. More sheet rope for the cabin.
Right. Well, I don't want to keep patrolling in the fog. If someone comes up and we see them or the fog goes away, I'll go zombie hunting. But until then, rat, just chill up here and read your book. Oh, it is so eerie. Look at it just... Ooh, okay, I see movement. I see movement down there. We can go a-killing. Not going into the woods. No, maybe they're gone forever. I should have acted quicker. No, they've just submerged themselves into the trees, never to be seen again. Hoping the fog goes away before fishing time. Don't think I'm gonna get that lucky though. No, definitely not. This is an all day fog. All day fog on the helicopter day. Jeez. Jeez. Let's get these last two pieces of fish cooked. Here you go, chat. Two minutes on the clock. How many sticks? She is pretty tired. I feel like that's the most concerning Moodle. Ooh, how are we on water? I definitely need to get some in the morning. Jeez, the fog is just not going away. I don't know if I've ever had fog this late at night in PZ before. It is just like a blanket. Ooh, I really want to go check the fishing traps. So they don't break, but I'm also nervous about going through the woods. You know what? I'll wake up early. I'll wake up early, and then we'll go do the traps. I think that'll be okay. The theory is... If I pick up and put down our fishing net traps uh, before they reach the 20 hour mark, the game will never roll for a possibility for them to break. So as long as I keep picking them up and putting them back down, my fishing traps will never break. And I am very dependent on them for food right now. <laughs> They're like my most important resource. <laughs> my most important resource currently. All right, Rat, you have once again survived. Ooh, actually. Remove, remove. Dang. This is just your fifth helicopter event? There you go. You got the tally. You're on the board. And then, uh, shit, what is today? What is today in game? 11, 8.
All right, there we go. The votes, the predictions are in. Time to start the fire. Ooh. Only 3% on 3 plus. Well, here we go. Two's got 67. The majority of you think it's going to be two stick. Will you be rewarded? <gasps> you are. You are. Here you go. Take your points. Take your points. We're in the two stick era. Rats. Rat seven is in her two stick era. Here you go. Have a cigarette. There you go. And then I will set the alarm. I think for two. I think that'll be good enough. Rat just hates three sticks. Hey, sometimes it's three. Sometimes it's not. It's been crazy. I've had crazy numbers show up. I've had like eight plus sticks before. You gotta keep the faith. <laughs> One forty. This should be enough. It's going to be really dark. I carry a flashlight all the time. But I do prefer using the spear, and I can't... can't use both. Oh shit. Alright, we're going out the side door. Stopping. I'm listening. I hear no crinkling of glass. gonna zoom in so more of my screen is visible. That was uneventful. That was nice. No zombies were ran into in the dark, dark, uh, wee morning hours. Oh my god damn it! I fucking should just come through the fog. Please, please, please. Oh fuck, god damn it. <laughs> How quickly they disappear. Barely. I had to have just been barely over the 24 hours. I cry. I weep at what I have lost. Hey, spray reliever. What happened? Oh, uh, so I was talking about earlier, if I reset the fishing net timers, 
before 24, 20 hours rolls by, the game never ha has an opportunity to roll for them to break. I think I just barely missed the cutoff time. So, in those couple of hours, the game rolled for, rolled chance for my fishing net to break. So one of my two fishing nets is gone now, <laughs> is gone. I should be careful. I should be really careful. Maybe not putting it up overnight. And just doing it morning. Morning to evening. I think that might be the trick. It's just that the helicopter event and the fog. I was and it was like, oh, it can wait. It can wait until the fog goes away. Could not wait. Now I'm having rat wait till it's, uh... Till it's morning. Before fishing. Fishing time starts at 4 o'clock. I think the traps pull the most bait from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. though. It's tough. It's a tough call. I mean, I would rather have them working than broken. <laughs> if just missing by a couple of hours breaks the trap, I'd rather have little food than no food at all though. I mean, I'm wondering if I need to light that fire. She's just chilly right now. Place it before going to bed and pick it up every morning. I mean, that's what I normally do. I place it at the end of fishing time in the evening and then I pick it up in the morning. But I've also been placing it back down uh, after morning fishing because I normally come back for evening fishing. It was just yesterday with the fog and the helicopter event. Oh, it's time. You're not putting these in your hiking bag, and that's why you're immediately overcumbered after catching your first fish. Is that one already just too big to fit in the backpack and that's what's going on. Windy today. Look at these plants. I know today's supposed to be a storm day, I believe. The weather report said heavy clouds. Alright, one more fish. That's not a fish. That's it. Once again, let's check the trap.
I'm going to toss the shoes. Really? Neither one of those fit into the backpack? I'm also going to have you take a bath. Where is it? Furry ears. The ears first. Okay, and then before she gets too cold, I'm going to start running. And then we'll stand in front of the fire while she cooks fish. Actually, I'm going to get that prediction going. Another how many sticks. Uh, you have two minutes. I feel like five minutes will be way too long. <laughs> I'll be waiting forever, freezing. Okay, you washed it? You're, you're squeaky clean, rat? I don't see that you're damp at all, which is concerning, but I don't see the wash option, so I guess you're fine. Let's go. No catching a cold. Her little trot. It's like I got too much fish. It's too heavy. I got too much fish. Ooh, that is a zombie. Just, just having eaten a fish, having a smoke. Before we engage uh, with wherever that zombie went to. <laughs> you know. Ooh, where did it wander to? It was definitely there. All right, we'll co I can come back for it. We'll do a little screaming little screaming into the woods and see what happens later on see if I can make that path pretty clear for tomorrow evening and do a little foraging while we're at it a win-win a win-win and then tomorrow I head in the camp to the campground to see if the generator is uh where it should be. And then after that, it's all going to be running on foot uh, to ja Jamie's town. 
I don't know why I keep wanting to calling it Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't think that's the name. All right. This is okay. Hello. So those of you paying attention, it was not one stick. Not one stick. We're gonna find out. Will it be two stick once again? Two stick. Two stick all day. I mean, I don't think that zombie's even banging on the window. Oh, there it goes. Hey, bro. Ooh, that was just in time. Perfect timing. They just finished cooking. Right, weight is still doing perfectly fine. Oh shit, I didn't... Alright, well let's get that. Let me fix that. have to get my water purified. Purifying our daily ration of water. Just living in the outskirts things. Do I have nails on me? I do. And I have a hammer so I should easily be able to add an escape rope. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Hello? Would you like to fight me? In combat? <laughs> Okay, here's one. Hello, thank you for showing yourself. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come out, out here and meet me, zombie. Alright, I know there are more in the forest also what how are you still not carpentry three i'm fixing that right now no goodbye picnic tables hello carpentry three thank you Now, any nails? Any nails? <laughs> any nails from this? No? Okay, I'll pick up the trash later. I'll pick up the trash later.
the thing I know is going to happen is <laughs> if I don't see any and kill any, there we go, is that they're going to all start popping up in the darkness when I'm running home from fishing. tonight so I want to put a good effort <laughs> good effort into luring any of them out now Doesn't look like it, though. All right, shit, you're all set, rat. There's absolutely no zombies in those woods. You don't have to worry about it ever again. I'm sure you'll never face a zombie. Let's do a little foraging. Okay, yeah, that's only a 10% buff due to the clouds. We'll do a little foraging. It should, you should still be able to find stuff. Uh, let's prioritize trash. Let's prioritize trash. I'm good on berries for right now. Do a little clean up. I'll do a little clean up as well. A blue plate. I don't want you. I want a blue plate. Maybe a fancy plate. No basic plates, please. Far too wealthy for that. <laughs> Where did the name Milk Toast come from? Um, it came from, I first, when I first heard the word Milk Toast, I think it was, um, it was like an D&D &D online video game, like a, like an MMORPG. And I think one of the background or starting character things was milk toast, and that was the first time I'd ever seen that word. And I was like, what? This word is so goofy. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? That, that was my first thought. I was like, is this actually milk toast? Is that how you say it? Because that's a goofy ass, that's a goofy ass word. If it is. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, that that is how you pronounce it. That is exactly how it goes. It's milk <laughs> toast. Uh, and so after being enamored in that, I think I made it my character's name in that video game. Like milk, first name milk, last name toast or whatever. Ooh, nice, fine. Yes, put that in your medicinal fanny pack. Some lemongrass. Bless. Bless. Chipstone. I'll take it. I have more twigs to gather up. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, I started, I just started using that name and started seeing the word milk toast everywhere. And then I was just going to be milk toast online, but someone had already taken that. So... Thus I became Milk Toast Claire to distinguish myself from the other Milk Toasts out there. If 
But yeah, I like it. I like weird words. Weird words with weird spellings. It's fun. It sticks in my brain. No, you're very... Um, you, you have a lot of twigs. You got a lot of twigs on you, rat. Don't worry. I'll be getting rid of those now. Uh, I think I'm going to put them in here because I'll eventually just fully move into cooking in this place. Mushrooms, more fodder for the composter. Uh, twigs are gonna go inside, and the broken axes are downstairs. Oh sh! Okay, no, I'm I'm good on time. But I do need to think about fishing once again. That's funny. I tried streaming PZ for a minute and I came up with Cactus Rambo. And I got that from looking at a cactus in my room and Rambo was on TV, but I I just couldn't get into streaming. Cactus Rambo's a good name though. It's like <laughs> Rambo but with extra prickly. Extra prickly. I'm glad you gave streaming a shot, and I'll say this. You don't... You can just stream whenever you want, you know? If you like it. If you like it. If it's a good time. What happened to rip all? What is rip all? Rip all of the things. Give me the thread. I really want to find a needle again. <laughs> That's one thing I'm- we're missing. A needle would be really great. Oh, I guess I could organize too. Do a little organization. Just take out everything that shouldn't be here. This is going to be for like electronics. Yeah, I'll just do straight electronics for now. Maybe electronics and miscellaneous with the tent. And then I will be. Here, let me actually just go get the bag. I'm going to move all the medical stuff. Into here. <laughs> have you have you checked all the haystacks for a needle? You know, love, I actually do for <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing. Maybe I'm just hoping it is, but I will forage. I will forage around haystacks 
in game and I'm always like, ooh, I wonder if I'll find a needle. <laughs> like that's always just in the back of my mind. I'm like, ooh, wouldn't it be cool? I wonder if this will happen. Small crafting materials over here, like adhesive tape, duct tape, wood glue, the nails. Wait, that's it. What, am I putting weapons in this one for now? I would... No, I want to move the weapons downstairs like I had before. I really liked that concept. I greatly enjoyed display, weapon display. Yeah, I have to give credit to you and other streamers. I get tired of talking and just want to play the game. <laughs> that's that's why that's why you do it. That's why you do it. You do it to play the game. All right. Uh, over and being over encumbered does not make this easier. Let's just shove everything into a box, and then I can arrange things on top how I like afterwards. For now, box shoving shall occur. And I can dump off our reading, our extra, extra reading materials. Except for mechanics, I'm still reading that one. Sheet rope needs to go outside, hunting knives. They're going into the, the drawer. Oh shoot, I gotta... okay, yeah. I gotta make tracks right now. Oh fuck. We're going out the side door. I need to fix that. Fix front door on the way home. Oh. Hopefully we fought all the zombies, so there will be no surprises, but I might as well just get the spear ready, just in case. Just in cases. fuck right into a tree I need to come back through here and chop down chop down some some more of these too close trees get them out of here I think I'm gonna go full base build mode on this base location out here I feel like the universe is telling me something and it's telling me base make this a good base so that's that's what I'm doing. That's where the momentum is shifting. I'm going to pimp out this area. Fishing. Uh, did I check the trap? Check trap. Remove trap. Place trap. Fishing. Go. Speed up time. 
It's a rat eat rat world out there. It literally is. No, a rat rat would never cannibalize one of the real rats. <laughs> one of the real rats. For for real, sometimes I just want smooth brain gameplay. Sometimes smooth brain gameplay is what you need. But um, my philosophy with streaming is kind of, uh, you know, when you get that vibe when you're working on a solo world or some kind of solo project in whatever survival sim you're playing or doing and you're like, man, I really want to show this to someone who equally cares <laughs> as much about this game as I do. Like, I really want to show someone all the shit I'm doing who also understands the game. And that's, that's my streaming philosophy. Please observe. Please observe. <laughs> my video game shenanigans. Oh, dang. No lure found. You ran through all those fish and all you caught were four fucking pairs of shoes. Why so many shoes? Why so many shoes? And one pair of socks. Uh, I'll, I'm just gonna put the fishing rod away. We have like uh, 20 minutes, but I don't think it's worth it. Paranoia setting in. Pick up trap, place trap, do again. Uh, no fishing. Just fill up your empty bottle. I'm gonna get the axe vision. The axe vision. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see this path. Got my axe eyes out. Spooky. I don't like it. I hope that's the last one. I knew all that effort, all that effort I put in to fucking screaming and crying and trying to pull any zombies out of the woods onto the path so I wouldn't have to fight zombies in the pitch dark of night. And still, still there is zombie that I have to fight in the pitch dark of night. <laughs> Crawling around from the side of a tree. How dare you? I didn't ask for this. I specifically didn't ask asked for this not to happen. Oh, Streisen, thank you for the raid. This is some return raid love. Have you been streaming since I raided you last night? Holy shit, let me give you a shout out. I'm double checking that I spelled everything correctly. No typos, no typos. Success. No, but I was trying to do a few hours today. Ooh, well, congrats on getting the time to get a couple more hours of gameplay in. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to come up here with these two garbage ba garbage bins. My, your internet is misbehaving? That is awful. That is the worst. Dealing with internet companies, trying to get your internet problems solved, and all they'll, all they'll say is like, did you turn your router? Did you turn it off and on again? I'm disabled, so I am all the time. <laughs> Constantly having to fight with them. That's rough. I remember when I switched over to fiber. Put your hands together, and I'll mark us with a special Ooh, sign. It's a symbol of our friendship. Oh, no, you meant you were free all the time. Well, you're not free all the time. 
you got stuff. I know we all have stuff to do. <laughs> Even if you're not working a nine to five. <laughs> I know it's not easy. Did you have a good stream though? Were you still doing CDDA this morning? Ooh, eat the fish. I only have water to cook. I, we caught no fish. No fish from tonight's fishing session. How disappointing is that? So I guess no stick gamba tonight. We can skit stick gamba in the morning, hopefully. And I've got some sheets I need to get rid of. You are? You found a spot for your permanent base? Very nice. You have big plans, big plans for your base? I always, I'm always a big base planner. Not always a great accomplisher of my big dreams for my bases. <laughs> but there are big dreams. For now, I'm just until I get a paper bag. I'm gonna keep my fire stuff over here. No, oh, but I was saying when I first tried to get fiber, I was constantly calling the company and being like, "Something is wrong. The internet is not working. It, it you broke like something is terribly, terribly, terribly broken." And it took like six or seven phone calls and people coming out trying to quote unquote fix the internet until they finally went up on like the pole and figured out that whoever first installed the fiber installed it wrong <laughs> on the pole. And that's why uh, I was having so many issues. Finally, after complaining ad nauseum for months. <laughs> A solution was finally presented. Okay, I think that's enough time. You may sleep. You may sleep, Rhett. It's gonna take a bunch of work to get the base ready. And I just realized I need a better axe to gather lumber. Ooh, a lumberjack axe? Or the woodcutter's axe? That's the best one, man. I've been out here with chipped stone axes and our little baby hand axe I'm trying to get shit done. ISPs really are the worst user. Hey, ISP, looks like I'm getting into some issue trying to make these addresses blocked off. And I notice your modern modem router doesn't like that. I went ahead and brought my own, bought my own modem so I can take the modem rental fee off. ISP die. <laughs> Dude, my ISP tried to tell me that my modem didn't work and I was like, what are you talking about? No, you're wrong. Look on your own website. Your own website says you accept this modem. <laughs> I have to shout out my husband. He he does he knows all the tech stuff. He knows all the tech stuff so he can fact check them and then I do the complaining. <laughs> I do the interfacing with customer service. I'm like, "Hello, it's me again. No, the issue is not fixed. Please, please come again." <laughs> I'm the one who endures the sometimes hour they put you on hold for that shit. Who's got the time? Who's got the time? No, no jump scares. Just run. Just run through wood to make fishing time. No look back. <laughs> Forward only. Oh my gosh, and now 
the trap is not giving me any fish. You're not giving me any fish trap? I'm gonna wear into... my backup fishing bait. Shout out from Switzerland. Shout out to you and Switzerland. Can't wait to try your chocolate someday. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> that woodcutter axe would be best. I don't want to use my hand axes for it, but I might use it just to block off my bedroom. I mean, you can always make a chipped stone axe if you don't want to waste your hand axes. I, I understand. Hand axes, they're, they're the only axe that attaches to the belt, right? And is one-handed, because even the chipped stone axe goes on your back and... ...is two-handed, I believe. So, I, I understand. <laughs> I, too, love to hoard the hand axes. Oh, don't worry, Hiki. <laughs> I miss how OP spearfishing spear was for a while. I mean, spearfishing is still OP. Uh, I just don't have the fishing skill to spearfish in winter. I just, I don't, I don't got it. I am just, oof, just under for fishing skill. But, um, I, in my, with my nerfed nature settings, I need, I think it's at least five, at least five fishing skill to catch anything with spear fishing during the winter. Even, even during the peak, peak fishing hours. So, I'll be shit out of luck <laughs> when my fishing fishing pole runs out of fishing line but hopefully by then my crop of carrots will have grown and I'll be having rat will be having carrot and bait fish dinner <laughs> for all of winter and whatever she manages to forage from the ground I'll take these. I'll do a little more cleanup. I'll do a little more cleanup. Ooh. Uh, hmm. I should probably pick that trap up. Because I don't know if I'll make nighttime fishing. I'm going to go on a big foraging walk. A big foraging walk today. I guess I'll start the prediction now. It's been two sticks. This is the advice. It's been two sticks every time today. <laughs> it's been two sticks every time today. I know not what the future holds. Alright. 
Lovely. All organized. Ooh, let me get this bottle of water in here. Go ahead and eat one of these humongous fish. And then we get ready to start this fire. Oh, you're a firefighter, so you want those for combat? Hell yes. I can't. An Axeman build is what is what my next build is going to be. I'm excited for it. I will resist the spear. Only Axeman. Yeah, the initial skill barrier for winter spear fishing wasn't there. Ooh. You could spearfish in winter with zero skill as long as it was at dawn or dusk. So you were basically never denied the ability to fish if you were doing a caveman, cavewoman type run. 65 million BC run. <laughs> put that in your put that in your PZ title. I'm doing a 65 million BC run. With these clothes. <laughs> With these clothes. Alright, prediction has been finished. Here we go. Ooh, lots of you riding on one stick. Not a lot of two stick believers. Only 17%. Let's see. Ooh. It hasn't it hasn't been won a lot. It hasn't been won a lot, chat. We'll see. What do we got next? Oh, I always forget. For s the f different fireplaces work differently, so... Oh, it's three plus. It's three plus, though. Uh, but, like, the barbecue, you won't pull things out of it. So if you have tinder and stuff inside the barbecue... Oh my gosh, it's way more than three plus. But I'll pay out the points. I'll pay out the points. Here you go. Enjoy the points. <laughs> it's just who's keeping count is this are we we're four plus five plus right now four hundred and seventy five points mmm delicious hey sometimes the pots are big and sometimes the pots are small but the <laughs> the savoring of the victory <laughs> That's all yours. Can we fit big fish in bag? Yes, I can fit big fish in bag. Drink some water. Wait for these to cook up. And then pick up the fishing trap and then go exploring. Go exploring, do some foraging runs, and see if the generator is still around. I'm wondering if the generator is something else that got eaten by the void. I'm hoping it did not. I'm hoping it did not. Do I want to bring mechanics? I don't think I do, but I will leave it out. I have a pet theory that sitting on the ground makes it easier to start a stick and drill plank fire because of how much fatigue it drains while doing it. So far, I only have confirmation bias to base that on. You know, broasted garlic, I also feel like sitting on... I have done that too. I also feel like... I, I would like to also confirm your, your bias and feel... I feel like that happens too. I mean, it would make game sense as well because you're recovering the fatigue that you're spending uh, from starting a fire. And starting a fire does build up fatigue, so sitting on the ground would be 
like gameplay wise the most optimal way but yes i have no facts just feelings just feelings <laughs> just maybe common sense So chat, heed that in mind. If if I'm ever sitting to start a fire, <laughs> you can add that to the background calculations you run. <laughs> every every little point gets you closer to VIP. Right. I'll check you. And then I'm picking you up, and I'll put you down next time I go fishing. Because I am worried you will shatter. I will not be back in time for fishing tonight. I'm worried I might be out and about for a while. I'm thinking getting the generator might require a sleepover. Depending on how many zombies I have to fight and how much resistance we're faced with. I also feel like I should bring a boonie hat just in case it rains or something. Camo boonie hat is gone. Ooh, maybe we'll use the hard hat. That has better water resistance. That's what I want. I want the water resistance. Get Rat's little profile going. I can barely survive 15 days of default settings. I DK how people survive max pop settings. Uh, funny, guppy gaming. It's a lot of... So, peop, no one's really surviving max pop settings on their first playthroughs. Bo like solo by themselves i don't really think that's happening you'd have to be like <laughs> the greatest god tier player and super fucking lucky getting good at pz is basically becoming an encyclopedia for pz information and that's how you get good at fight playing on max pop you learn where you know the hotbeds of activity are on the map and you avoid those until you're ready to fight or you go in guns blazing but you know where to get the guns or you go in with a fire strat there's lots of different like techniques tools to take on a 16x run and you just got to figure out what tools you like to use what tools and oh god strategies work for you and then you'll be fine and you'll be killing a million zombies with the best of them <laughs> Just become a wiki, and you'll do fine. I will always say the most important skill to master in PZ is uh, simply walking. Being able to walk, maneuver around zombies will improve your gameplay and your survivability. Oh, 
Ooh, I don't want to fight you over here in that tight little corner. See, this is awful. How do I, how am I navigating through this? Should I, is it better just to go all the way around? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> the wall of trees said, you shall not pass. All right, I know I'm going to get into a really open area and I think that's where I'll start foraging. It could be, you know, this is actually, this is it. It should be fairly open for the rest of the path. Uh, let's give you a cigarette. So your foraging isn't fucked. <laughs> Feelings are fact. It is fact that I feel this way. <laughs> That's true. I do, I do love vibe science. I'm a big practitioner. Okay, that's where we would normally go. I'm not picking up twigs. I'm not picking up branches. I will pick up chipped stones. Everything else is getting yeeted and deleted back into the void. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet! Go back to the void branch. I'm looking for trash, stones, bugs and mushrooms and berries. <laughs> All those things. Basically everything ab except kindling. of the past. Thought I saw something there. <laughs> Bug or mushroom salad incoming? Well, bugs, because I am honestly... Maybe I should focus on bugs. See if I can get some more bait. I am out of bait right now. I do have one piece of tackle left. And I'll use it if I have to. But some insects actually would be valuable. Oh, and I can't eat mushrooms either. I didn't take herbalist. I didn't realize uh, I'd be living in the woods. <laughs> I didn't realize that this playthrough was going to end up being a woods, trapped in the woods playthrough. I would have taken herbalist if I had, but nope. <laughs> Rat is not built to survive. She was built to be strong and find an er find a car and get out. But instead, stuck stuck in the woods, <laughs> stuck in the woods for winter. I know compost boxes make worms, so they should definitely make bugs too. I know, a compost empire.
Man, we are not finding any luck with the things I want. Okay, there's a caterpillar. Thank you, game. Thank you for listening to my complaint. <laughs> How much further? I want to make sure I'm making good time. Uh, quite a bit. I think it'll be alright. And I can always just start running. There's always that. We can always pick up the pace. Ooh, some nettles? Eh. Minus six hunger on one of them. Not the best, not the worst. Our, our picking the pickings are slim. Rat is a beggar and cannot be a chooser of what food she consumes. Ooh, okay, what's luring me off the path? Another pill a pill bug? I'll take it. Anything else? <laughs> Rose hips for life. You know, you know. <laughs> I like the flowers. Give me violets and thistles. It's, it's such a cute image of, to me of a rat eating, just out murdering zombies and then eating a whole flower. Surprisingly, no zombies. It's been a very uneventful journey. <laughs> until right now, until I said something. <laughs> I just had to jinx it. I'll take the stones. I'm gonna do some big axe chopping. Okay. Got some attention. Let's see what's going on here. There's at least one more over there. Is that a letter opener? It is. Nothing valuable. I'll destroy your watch though. Welcome in, broasted garlic. All right, getting once again getting jump scared by my own follow noise sometimes. <laughs> Welcome in. You're already in. You're already in. 
Thanks for making it official. Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, that scared me too. Nice. <laughs> I'm not the only one. It's this it's the intense silence with the bang bang bang. And you're like, holy shit, what's about to happen? <laughs> and then the soothing voice of Negan comes on and says, Let me in. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Whatever you want, Negan. Whatever you want. <laughs> But it's a good one. I had I had to have something. I had to have something from The Walking Dead. <laughs> and then there's the jump scare. And then there's the jump scare. It's getting dark too. No more foraging. Let's make sure we can sleep peacefully. Sleep peacefully in the cabin we're heading to. I'm expecting there to be a little bit of fighting. A little bit of fighting out front. Unless I've already been there and cleared it. Which I'm not sure. Yeah, that does not look like it's been touched at all. Okay, get your asses over here. Come fight me in this nice open, open spot. Nice open spot. Excuse me. Just one? Just one? I know there's probably more in these trees that'll sneak up on me. I'm gonna pull this group. And start killing. And start the killing. You need a new water bottle? A little swapperino? I can know for sure. Ooh. If I if I've been here before, there'll be a rope ladder on the back, but I don't think I don't think I have. I think that's part of the forgotten era. Oh, it says Camp Busy Beaver. I misread that pamphlet at first. <laughs> sure, send the kids. <laughs> sure, send the kids there. Busy Beaver. Big Bad Beaver needs to make a base build here. That's all I'm saying. I demand it. I'm making demands. <laughs> It's his, it's his camper. It's his camp. Okay, nothing valuable on any of you. I still want to keep clearing the surrounding area, so wake up. Follow me. Still rat seven? Still rat seven. And I didn't set up my spears, because why would I be prepared to fight zombies ever? That doesn't sound like me. Okay. Right, 
one of you may have the honor of holding on to this broken spear. I appreciate that. I'll destroy your earbuds. Ooh, give me your beta blockers. Man, sure is quiet. I want to get around to the back of the building. Okay, no sheet rope. Uh, so I'll say this again. Sorry if you've if I've said it too much and you've heard it, but uh, what ha I last Tuesday, I realized I had fucked up my file. Instead of backing it up, I replaced it with the two-week-old backup I had. Uh, so essentially, aliens have abducted Rat, and she had a really long, weird dream. <laughs> and is now trying to put the pieces together. What was real and what was imagined? Ooh, do I have a pipe wrench? I don't know, but I'm taking that one. I'm taking that one. I'd also like to bring the bleach out of here. Don't touch that glass. Don't touch that glass! <laughs> that sounds like a steam cloud feature. No, I mean, I. it does sound like a steam cloud feature, but it was pure me, pure user error. It's one of those things, you know, when you're like, oh, I better do... <laughs> It's one of those things where I feel like you get punished for doing the right thing. But it's it's just my own fault. It was just my own fault. I was rushing to try to get it done. I'll leave half the medical supplies here. I'll leave half the medical supplies here. I was rushing to get it done. Because I knew I had missed last week. And then... I had to face the consequences. <laughs> All right, I'm worried there might be people up here. Okay, so far, so good. Got a full kitchen here to loot, which I'm sure will have office loot in every single one of those counters. Hello, buddy. Ooh, box of nails, duct tape, gotta have it, gotta have it. Uh, wire can be used for making fish traps. But I don't even have, like, a book. I don't even have the magazine. Ooh. You have a key. Give me your key. But that's why I keep talking about, because of that, the save file is wonky, especially the fact that it's just like a combined save file. <laughs> so certain things have carried over that I didn't realize would carry over, uh, and other things have just been deleted out of existence. So it's a learning experience. What remains? This is where I was camping, or planned to camp out in. Oh, I definitely want to bring the shovel home. It's 
just gonna place place that out. Place that out. I care less about everything else. I care less about everything else. Let me get a chair. Nice, comfy. Okay, game. Oh shit, I canceled that. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, comfy chair. Perfect place to sleep. Perfect place to sleep. I don't understand. How do I- were there two? Did I pick up two chairs? That's the only explanation. You can wait till you get a little more hungry, honestly. I'm gonna put everything I wanna, definitely wanna take with us in this box, but I don't necessarily wanna carry on me right now. I do wanna carry the fish on me right now though. That That is one thing. That's good. I'm going to... Hmm. I can make an escape rope. I think I will. I'll do an escape rope out that window again. Okay, that's enough. I don't want your socks. Take your... Oops. Take your socks. Take your socks. I don't want them. Man, I thought I found some reading material here last time. I do not think that's going to be the case this time around. Uh, these are both bathrooms. Check the trash can. Check the trash can. Do you have any goodies? A garbage bag. I'll take it. I want to build a lot of... <laughs> I want to build a lot of water barrels one day. Alright, that's it. I'm going to make sure this door is unlocked. Let's check the kitchen. Kitchen and in here. Oh, got some free food. Free food in a book. Anything in the fanny pack? No, nothing in the fanny pack. Disappointing. Alright, fridge. Some rotten cheese. And then, yes, office supplies and all of the cabinetry. Boo. Boo. Margarine and beer and rotten stinky cheese. I know it's amazing. It's amazing. What a boon. And a bag of chips. And a bag of chips. Uh, let's put the... Yeah, let's put it up here. That'll look cute. It's so dark. I'm sure you all are having a fantastic viewing experience right now. 
Oh, here's the bookcase. What do you got? Trapping volume one. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Should have brought mechanics. Then we could have been reading. Check these two in the back, right? Nothing, nothing. Okay. Get that open. Get a singular nail. Add escape rope. You're done. Go ahead and sleep. Even today, I'd call that a win. <laughs> hey, it's not bad. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up quite so early. But you can, uh, you can just chill out. Go chill in the light. I'm going to crank my desk down. It's been a good almost two hours of standing. It is time for sitting. It is time to remove my cat from my computer chair <laughs> and take back what is mine. Begrudgingly. Ooh, the chair is so warm, though. <laughs> the perk, the perk of stealing back my chair. Ten. It's a little early. It's a little early to go out. Eat a quarter of your fish. What are you anxious? I can cut that off. Here. Have a little smoke. Have a little smoke. I don't think I'll be uh, going out this window. But I could see myself coming up the window. So I'll leave it open. You just don't have great ground fo floor visibility. Just gotta wait a little bit longer, but the generator I'm hoping is in here. I'm hoping is in there. If it's not there, that means the void ate it. The void ate it and we're never getting it back. Nothing in that desk, okay? The snow is back.
How are you over encumbered? Oh, I forgot the giant fish. Put that away. Put it away. <laughs> So that's where I want to get in. Yeah, it's this and this building. Got a couple zombies around the edges. I'll get them first. And then I might have to dismantle that door. Oh, fun! So glad you chose that specific time to break, Spear. That specific time to break. Hey, hey dude. Hey dudes. window. Hello. Out front. No one's here. Under the pavilion. Oh, I hate these things. I hate those roofs. I feel like they're just an isometric death trap. Just carrying a five encumbrance fish around with you at all times. Nice. Hey, I wish I had a, a bowl. Anything. Anything at all. Also, a sack game? If you could give me just a sack, that would be super helpful. Right, that's one of the pit stops done and dusted. Did I get rid of that broken spear? I guess I did, because it's not in the inventory. Uh, there's like the, I don't know, craft building, the little schoolhouse building, and then... Maybe a few other pit stops. few other pit stops before we scurry all the way home. Ooh, lipstick? I think I have lipstick. I think I got it. I hope I don't regret it. I know, no, I saw one on the table. I've definitely got one on the table upstairs. Ooh. They're disappearing behind that one tree. Okay, 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 let's get these spears fixed. Good. I'm clearing up more space from the backpack to be uh to be used for carrying home the treasure. The treasure we find out here.
Nice, getting some really good instant kills out here. That worked out. Nothing in that bag. And then nothing of value on the corpses. Hey. Acknowledge me. These spears, man. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got that three carpentry. And now I don't have to worry about shit spears ever again. Alright, and there shouldn't be much in here. I'm gonna keep this open so anything that's on the ground will pop out immediately. Oh, give me the bucket. I do. I actually do want the bucket. And fuck. The same books all the time. Tailoring two, I will take. Oh, this is too many. <laughs> I mean, probably not that bad, but I did not. No, I was getting into all that. I did not know I was getting into a fight with at least four zombies when I opened that door. Or that window. You could just- you couldn't take the open door right next to you. Y you had to get your grubby little hands on that window. There it goes. Ooh! You have something valuable inside of you. Inside of your shoulder? God, what a horrible... wound. So did I get rid of... Where did I put my nightsticks? What happened to those? Where did I deposit them? There we go. We have at least one backup weapon on our belt now. I hope I didn't like accidentally ditch those on a zombie corpse. Thank you. Or the things that dump out and become sacks. What is it? Is it gra it's gravel? Gravel, I guess a sandbag, anything else? I mean, yes, the sacks of potatoes and stuff like that. that that's all. Anything else? Like, does concrete powder or plaster powder dump out into a stack? NPK fert bags? I have empty in... I have empty fertilizer bags I foraged. Can I use those as sacks? If so, I have one waiting for me. Back at my base. Alright, you can fill your not not the bucket, not the bucket. Fill your water bottle. I don't want to be carrying around a bucket's worth of water, please. That's not the life I want to lead.
Once again, keeping this open just to see if I'm missing anything cool on the floor. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Alright, back outside. Moment of truth. I want to see. Wait, my bad. NPK fertilizer bags do not, but the compost bags are. No, don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. I'm only devastated. <laughs> you would think you could use an empty NPK fertilizer bag as a sack, but that that's you using your logic brain. And sometimes logic brain does not work <laughs> in PC. Sometimes the logical thing is not the game thing. You can't use your hands, you can't use any bag, any, like a spare duffel bag. You, you might think, hey, I've got like 20 duffel bags. Maybe I fill one of those duffel bags up with dirt and then haul that dirt somewhere. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> That's not how society works. <laughs> That's not how society works. All right. Should I? I want to cross off these buildings. Uh, boop. Boop. I mean, that's a nothing building. Boop. Boop. We have been... I really don't want to pass through this group of trees. I should have... I should have used my axe eyes. Hmm. Okay. So last time I was here, I did not do this, but I could take the time. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. Welcome in, Fat Tony. Welcome in. Uh, what I was just entertaining is I have a roasting pan at the most isolated uh, cabin, essentially, by a tiny little lake. I was thinking about stealing said roasting pan, but I think I want to leave it there. I think I want to leave it there, and I will make a do without. A <laughs> little stick, a little stick, let me win! There will be more stick gamba. Little stick, little stick, please don't let the void have eaten the generator. Don't let the void have consumed the generator. Acknowledge me. God damn it. <laughs> so it acknowledged me, not break my spear on your face. That's the last spear. Hmm. That's a lot of zombies between me and the generator shed. And I don't have... Alright, I'm gonna go get... Or find whatever I did with my nightsticks. Because I want those back. I want those back. Alright, that's the cafeteria. 
And I'm pretty sure I've already looked all in there. It's the war cry of the campfire. Uh, no, this is the way I went. This is the better way. The less tree clump way. Hello. I can also always make spears. I, always, I I've started keeping um, a saw on me, and I do really like that for on the go weapon crafting. Every because everywhere we go, there's gonna be trees. Everywhere there's we go, there's gonna be trees and trees that actually need to be chopped. So having the axe saw combo has been working out pretty well, pretty well for me. We can spend one more night here too, if it, if it is needed. If it is needed, we can always spend one more night. We'll go up the back way. Don't you hate that tree being right there? Me too. Maybe I'll chop it down. Maybe that's the tree that'll get turned into spears. All right, shit. So I definitely ditched. I can't find them, right? Yeah. They're not in here. I definitely ditched my weapons somewhere. My nightsticks. How could I have done such a thing? So many boxes of nails, though. Fuck yes. Love that. Love that for me. <laughs> I see a new endorphin port video drop today. I already watched it, Hackle. I want to, I want to interact with Jeremy Bot. I want to interact with Jeremy Bot. What do Jeremy Bot got? I'm gonna have to check every single one of these goddamn zombies until I fucking find that shit. Okay, at least they should also have a broken spear. So I, I'm looking mainly for a red X. Red X should alert me. to where I've deposited them. How did this happen? Where did they go? all hammer time. It's all hammer time now. I'm gonna chop down this tree for right now. And then I'll make some spears. I use the fireman's axe. <laughs> 
I must have gotten some American money. <laughs> so much of that new video is a straight AI dream. It's fantastic. An AI nightmare. Ooh, do I have any knives? That's a good question. I don't have knives, but I could make a chipped stone knife if I need to. Put your hands together, and I'll mark us with a special sign. Lucas Boys, subscribed for one month. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Put your hands together, and I'll mark them with a special sign. It's a quarter of a smiley face. It's a quarter of a smiley face. <laughs> It's a symbol of our friendship. Right. Is one of you a bush? Is one of you a bush? There we go. Give me a branch. Bush. I appreciate that. Make stone knife. Stone knife, meet six planks, make me some spears. It was not only the last spear, it was the last straw. The straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, the straw that broke the chipped stone knife. Thank you for your service, chipped stone knife. All right, let's go liberate. Let's go liberate the generator. Did I check the the piles out here? So many missed watches. <laughs> that was quite sudden. Looks like winter's here. What's the goal today? I'm looking to see if the generator is still here. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if it is at all near where I think it technically should be. If it's not here, then I think it's safe to say it was eaten by the void. But I wanted to check check this area anyway, so we're doing it. We're seeing what's up. Okay. Oh, anything? Nothing in the satchel. Seeing anything? I'm currently- ah, oh, I saw them. Thank you. Where the, how the fuck did those end up on you, dude? You don't even have a broken spear. There we go. All is right once again. Also anxious. We'll smoke. I'll smoke when you're agitated. I'll smoke when you're agitated.
I love the winter trees. They look so beautiful and fluffy. I might take a, another peek in there. Oh, they're all sitting down. Okay, I'm going to get these stragglers first. So that way I don't have to worry too much about backing up. I'm so glad I remembered making spear adds woodworking. I have run out of things to deconstruct. Yeah, spears are good. And as long as you have over level three woodworking, you're going to be crafting the best spears. The best spears you can possibly craft. You all definitely look like you're dressed to be out in the middle of nowhere, by the way. Love the clothing choices. The sweater vests. The sweater vests. Where are the hiking bags? Explain. That was a break. <gasps> it's still here. Oh my God. Thank God was so nervous it would not be here yeah give me okay cool and i have a pipe wrench back at the other place so i can leave that one out i was so nervous it would have been eaten eaten by the aether all right i'm gonna I'll grab it, I'll grab it, but I want to check. It's going to be, that's definitely going to over encumber me. So I want to check this building, this building first. So much destruction. Pretty sure I've already looted this place. That's why we're finding nothing in most of these. But I just want to check. I want a bath towel. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. If I have the room, I'll bring it. Game. I do not need that in our life right now. And nothing in the mini fridge. Okay. Let's grab that generator and begin the process of hauling it out of here.
I can't use it. I don't have a generator mag or anything. But... I would like to move it out of the wilderness. I would like to move it out of the wilderness before it's too late. I'm just going to save my stamina and run if I get into a sticky situation. Hopefully it'll be nice and calm. We've run back this way a couple times, clearing all the zombies I've seen. So it should be chill. It shouldn't have to panic and fight for our lives. Might take a little break before we walk walk through the woods right over here. You want to eat? Ooh, eat all your stale fish. Damn. I'm disappointed I let that go stale. You are agitated now? So now you can have a cigarette. There's also some good furniture out here, like paintings and stuff. I need to remember that if I get, if I can never get to the luxury of having food stable enough that I can do frivolous things, <laughs> frivolous things once again, like collect paintings for our abode. Wouldn't that be great? Soon. Our carrot bait fish empire will grow. It'll happen. And then the dawn of decorating will occur. Oh, it's gonna suck carrying this generator out of here. <laughs> but I've done it before. We can do it again. Figure out what's staying and what's coming with us. Definitely want the nails, definitely want the bugs. Want tailoring volume two. I don't need mechanics volume one. I want the compost. I want the pipe wrench. Nettles, cilantro. Okay, that is looking like it's I'm full up already. How much do the bag of chips weigh? I'm thinking about eating them. Point two. If I eat the chips, then what? I'll leave this here. In case I'm dying one day. There's cilantro. There's wild cilantro in this box. In case I'm dying one day and I need to return. I think that's it. I don't really need the medical stuff. 
Oh, I can get rid of the scrap electronics. Can I get the alarm clock? I can. Not the bath towel. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. And you can just start reading mechanics. I got this empty bottle I need to bring with me as well. I'm leaving the shovel, but I do have the trowel. I have the trowel. Be okay. Now you can read book. Read book until bedtime. <laughs> Please tell me it's possible to find a generator foraging in a trash pile. I didn't get one in my cell. <gasps> I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if it's possible. A generator is like, um, it's an interesting item, right? So it doesn't function the way certain items do. I don't know if it's on the loot table. I have never foraged one slight like gills. But you could be the first. <laughs> and you don't need a generator. You don't need a generator. You can survive without a generator with careful planning. Uh, you can survive without a generator. <laughs> Ooh, it does look like we'll be eating that bag of chips, though. gonna be a winter wonderland when we get back hopefully no problems will arise carrying a generator through the woods hopefully no problems will arise carrying a generator through the woods with snow all over the ground unable to see <gasps> You did it. You finished it. Great job, kid. Let's close the window and go to bed. Alarm is not here to disturb us for once. You can sleep as long as you'd like for 20. An excellent hour to wake up on. An excellent hour. Rocking the dual nightsticks. Yes. One is about to break. Uh, and one is fine. Is this anxious? You know what? You can, well, you can smoke a cigarette. You can smoke a cigarette. Before it's your time. Oh, do I fill up the water bottle? I think I do. I think I do. This is the bathroom? Yeah, I was, I'm glad I did. I was thinking the other bottle had water in it, but it did not. Fuck it, eat your chips. Alright, just very heavy load. It's okay. We'll get out of this mess just fine. Uh, I can still do a push, right? Yeah, you can still do a push with the generator. Okay, okay. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Drop, drop, drop. 
there we go. What's that in your leg? Bread knife. Always a bread knife. I don't have room for you, bread knife. Okay. Zombies. What are you what are you doing over here? What are you what are you doing over here? You came here through two days ago. That was that was the fight. <laughs> that was the time to fight. Now is the time to leave me alone. <laughs> always a bread knife and never a bride. Uh, always a bread knife, never a machete. All right, there's just enough dirt still peeking through. But I think we'll get home a okay. Is it cutting down? Am I? Ooh. Am I getting lost? I'm getting lost. All right. Uh, drop, drop, drop. Weapon out. Smash zombie in head. Murder. Destroy electronics. Pull up map. See where we are. All right. I need to go down a little bit more. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Also, okay, it's not it's not fully morning yet, but another day of just cloudy weather. It's all it's been is fog, heavy cloud or light cloudy weather. <laughs> Shoo, go away. Exactly. Carrying too much crap to bother with you now. I'm ignoring that one. I'm making tracks. Uh, I might want to drop though. She is fatigued. This is a nice little open space to sit in. Right, I'm gonna remember. Hold shift to get up. And we'll do the fast get up. <laughs> Stop biting me. Y'all notice how we talk to zombies like dogs? What are you doing over here? What do you have there? <laughs> zombies are the dogs of the apocalypse. I mean, a zombie with the intelligence of a dog that you could train not to bite you. The best pet ever. <laughs> the best pet ever. I guess you'd just be a necromancer at that point. You'd just be a necromancer. <laughs> Alright, what way is this path guiding me? Okay, just keep going straight. Also, drop a generator. Sit on ground. I could do a sharp cut, but look how, like, the the woods are going to get so much more dense, and I don't know what kind of interference I might face going that way. So I'll stick to the path. At least the path has been sort of cleared. RPC characters would do well in the Don't Look Up movie universe. Is there a Don't Look Up movie universe? Is 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 there 
Are there other movies based in that world? I, I kind of like the Cloverfield world. I kind of like how that horror franchise has just expanded. And how they work with uh, indie indie movies and then just add a little twist, a little Cloverfield twist at the end. Like, oops, all aliens. <laughs> oops, it's all aliens. Uh-oh, I feel like I'm getting off path again. No, 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 I'm good. It just looks like I have to walk through a wall of trees, but we'll go around. I'm watching, I'm watching the, the fatigue, the exertion. Right, I think you can take a little break. Such a pain. Little extra, little extra. If I'm talking to a zombie in PZ, it's usually one of those two things. Oh, hello. Or where did you, where the hell did you come from? I do do, I do love a zombie impaled item guessing. That is a fun get mini game. What's impaled inside of that zombie? Okay, so we're at the pine cone and random log portion. All right, cool. We're almost home. Almost home. And you know what? We'll be there in time for night fishing. I guess that's one of the things I can do when I get back. I can put the trap out. I can put the fishing trap out. Let's see if we can get some bait fish. We did not find a ton of insects on our journey. <laughs> Alright, I think this is going to be the last super open place. And hopefully the last time we have to sit in the cold snow before we're back. Can we add Cloverfield? Which is how we got Cloverfield Lane for some reason. Oops, all aliens indeed. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Cloverfield Lane. I, I enjoyed that movie. And... I enjoyed the Cloverfieldness of it all. I also love the Cloverfield sci-fi movie. I forget what that one's called, but the 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 one in space that was pretty interesting. That was a pretty interesting movie. Right, I'm seeing dirt path and I'm believing. I'm believing I'm on the right trail. Through here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is not... 
some some of this area is just cursed. The overgrowth is cursed. Am I am I lost or no, I'm good. There is no path though. Too close to home to stop now, Rat. We're too close to home to stop now. Push, push through your exhaustion. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens from pushing your PZ tune to their absolute limits in order to accomplish your own goals. <laughs> your characters never die when, uh, being run into the ground. Oh shit. Hello, mixed nuts. Welcome in. Welcome in, raiders. Oh, you made it just in time. I have been hauling this generator from the middle of the forest to right here. Welcome in. Greetings, future zombies. <gasps> what an ill omen. What an ill omen. But you're right. You're right. What are we but pre-zombies? What are we but pre-zombies? C-D-D-A is a pain in the ass. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But it is it, a, you know, it, you know, it's it's the kind of pain. It's the kind of pain that you, you can get addicted to. And, and you go back for more. You go back for more and more. <laughs> You're like, why do I enjoy uh, suffering this much? <laughs> Oh, I guess that is true. Is it real cataclysm? Dark days ahead? Just the game mode? That's what I picked. That's what I assumed. I assumed. Alright, well our base is looking pretty cute. We got the Ginny. I got some stuff uh, to place place around. A paper bag for all of my lighters. Let's put them. Let's put them in their home. In their home. You should keep your Ginny in your house to keep it warm. If you're cold, your Ginny's cold. Bring it inside, right? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, no generator magazine for me, so. No luck there. No luck there quite yet on the generator front. Look at my precious food stores. Gaze upon all the food I have to get me through winter. <laughs> I think it's enough. I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. Oh, thank you, Dex. Thank you. Let me let me ask the questions. Let me ask the questions. How many walkers have you killed? How many people have you killed? Why? 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 Oh, lurk. <laughs> I got to pick up a wife from work. All right. Too late. Too late on the questions. Next time. Next time. Always get distracted by PZ. 
always the next chore to do. I think it was like 300 kills in four days in CDDA. So that means fighting zombies with a horrible groin wound. That is some good shit. That is some good shit. It took seven tries to get the CDDA going. So seven people. Ooh, I lucked into a pick pickaxe. What a nice way to set up CDDA. I think I was doing CDDA DA runs one night and I got to 20 plus characters. I was just kind of goofing around and I was adamant about not camping out at the Moldra farmhouse. But I, I am getting that itch again. That itch again. Especially now that I'm better at walking zombies through fire. <laughs> so why, why, and, and why the why is? Because you're a masochist. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of masochism in everyone who plays PZ. <laughs> it's my own pet theory. We all like a little bit of suffering. We like the challenge. The challenge is what drives us. It keeps us going. We don't want it to be easy. We want it to be earned. Ooh, okay. Gas cans over here. That's what I want. Gas cans and maybe tools. All right. A sorting meta is forming. I like that. Tools over here. Electronics and like survival mis miscellaneous over here. And then I got vitamins to put away. book to put away. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Alright, and I got the pill bugs. I'm going to grab the bucket from upstairs. Just checking if there's anything in that backpack. There was not. There was not. I'm also going to toss these shoes. Get the fuck out of here, shoes. I don't need you. I have boots. I have boots. Wait, you found a Jenny? This is the old Jenny. This is the old Jenny stolen from the woods. It was here. It was here. And I was able to snatch it and carry it home to safety. Now I'm going to go fill up a bucket and place some fishing traps. Or place my one remaining fishing trap. And hopefully we'll get some good bait fish before fishing time tonight. Following our orange cones. Even through the snow, we'll know where we are. Is it just me or do you sound like I have a, you have a scratchy throat? I might have a scratchy throat. 
normally I take <laughs> normally I take days off between streaming. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how the old throat does. Trying to do uh five days five ish days in a row. We'll see. I'll drink some more water. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Delicious H2O. Alright, I'm gonna place the trap down. Get that ready. ASAP. Sun is out. Still a little bit cloudy. Dang, 25% reduction just from the clouds game. Insects are still the focus. I'll do I'll I'll do it anyway. We'll do a little more insect foraging. I am hopeful I won't have to use our tackle. Also, am I way higher up than I should be? Yes, I see orange cone all the way down here. Orange cone all the way down here. Add some honey in it if you have it. Maybe some tea. Some tea would be good. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Need a hydrate redeem? I think there is a hydrate. Yeah. I just took it off of the, the TTS list. Make space. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Welcome in, both of you. No, Nortrodamus, Nortrodamus, and Colonel Wolf. Welcome in. Welcome in. Pull up a chair. Ooh, it's piece of cozy living in the woods time. Cozy living in the woods time. Working on our foraging. Hopefully not starving through dinner. Not through dinner, through winter. <laughs> Hopefully not starving through dinner or through winter. I think she can hold out, hopefully. Until fishing time. I can't eat these mushrooms. I don't know if they're poisonous or not. No herbalist. No herbalist for us. Uh, but today we'll do some, we'll do fishing tonight. We'll do fishing tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Then I'm gonna put the trap. Ooh, yay. Thank you for the bug. Thank you for the bug. Um, I'll put the trap out. Wait, what did you see? Is it just twigs? Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want twigs. Uh, we'll do fishing tonight, fishing in the morning, and then hopefully I'll have enough time to head in to Jamie Town. And we'll do some murdering and hopefully some more looting down there. And that's what I think we'll probably do start doing until we get close to helicopter time. Hopefully we'll find a car. Please let there be vehicle. <laughs> let there be vehicle. Oh. You almost got me right when I was out of the woods. But we made it home. Shit, I forgot to throw these shoes away. Shit. There's a trash can down here, though. Here you go. Goodbye. Goodbye, garbage. Oh, fuck yeah, I forgot about these fish. I do have more fish. Slice that shit up and you can start eating.
Also, I thought it... I heard zombie. But I just, I guess it's just the cabin fever. <laughs> I guess it's, I tried to time it at the corner. Close. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. You're planning ahead. Working for those jump scares. You're just going to eat all the fish rat? Probably. Probably. The delay hurt us. <laughs> Come on, compost. <laughs> Work your magic. All right, here's the thing. I have been hoarding... Give me that. I've been hoarding these kinds of bugs. I've been hoarding these kind of bugs for if I unlock bird trapping. Yeah, I think I'll keep hoarding them. I'll, I'd rather burn through the last remaining tackle before I start dipping into those, those insects. We can do a little foraging over here. A little something something. I think this area counts as... Urban? Yeah, so you might get, get a different variety up here. A different variety over here. I still have to pick up all my trash. A chore for a later day. Oh, I'll take a chip stone. I'll take a chip stone. Okay, I'm gonna head to the fishing spot. I want to check on the carrots and make sure they're doing okay. And if there's any remaining time, do a little more forage. Do a little more forage. I think I'll have enough spears, but I need to bring a ton of spears because I know I'm going to be... There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of fighting to be done when we go to Jamie, Jamie Town. And I don't know if I want to work towards... fight towards where I want to base. Or have a forward operations base, or... I think that's best, right? Fight towards where the forward operations base is. That would be wisest, because then I can make the time I spend eventually after I get the operations base more useful. Especially if I don't have a car, that'll mean a lot of picking through and transporting goods on our own back. Eee. Eee. The stress of it all. <laughs> hey. MacVel Quador says, Hey, bought the game yesterday and played the tutorial, which was super fun. Any tips for new players? Absolutely. Absolutely, Mac. Um, so, there are two things you really need to watch out for. Tiredness and exertion. Uh, tiredness is like a little gray sleepy face. 
um, and exertion is a pair of lungs. So if you ever see those, even the first, they'll, they'll pop up over here. Like right now I have anxious and hungry. You'll see a little circle for like sleepy or tired and then a little pair of lungs. Don't try not to fight with those two because you'll be, they're basically a 50% nerf to your damage, just a straight 50% nerf to your damage. So try not to fight zombies or be running around doing anything if you have those two moodles. That is your that is the game telling you go sit down, rest, get somewhere safe. Other thing, you can outwalk unless you turned on sprinters, which I would not recommend <laughs> if you just bought the game. I would not uh endure it, that kind of pain. Uh you can outwalk every zombie. You walk faster than them in your normal walk so you don't have to run you can just you can just outwalk them and and once you master that and you learn what moodles not to fuck around with you should have a good time you should have a good time and yeah just hang out watch watch streamers become encyclopedia <laughs> Little pig, little pig, let me in. Welcome in, welcome in. One of us, one of us. Enjoy your newfound addiction. Uh, did we get any? No, I did not get any. I did not get any fish from that. Uh, I will do night or morning fishing though tomorrow. So I'll put it back. And I've got 20 ish minutes to kill. <gasps> Gosh, why? Why on Rat, who has limitless boxes of nails? Why on this character, PZ Universe, and not on my bunny character who would cry tears of blood? If she forged a box of nails, I swear, PZ gods, why do you do this? Why do you do this? <laughs> My vote is for the forward operations base. All right. It's a good vote. It's a wise plan. Each of those scraps of wood burn for one hour and 24 minutes. They definitely do. They are good fuel. That's what I'm waiting uh, or that's why I'm not planning on deleting them. All right, fishing rod in hand. It's fish time. It's fish time. Well, f don't blow through your bait in the first hour, please. <laughs> you got you got three pieces of bait before we switch to the tackle. Tip number one, plan on dying a lot. <laughs> Don't uninstall the game in anger. Number three, plan on dying more. Number four, get good. Number five, have fun. Yes, also remember, everyone's saying it. Also remember you will die. It's fine. Everyone dies. That is true. That is 100% true. If someone tells you Unless their name is Mr. Lamprey, that they don't die in PZ. They're a liar. <laughs> no. Everyone dies. It's how you learn. You learn by dying. It, it is Dark Souls. It is Dark Souls, except more punishing. <laughs> I usually suggest not using guns until you understand sound mechanics in this game. That's a good one. Definitely lost a few of my early characters due to thinking guns could be good. Uh, wait. 
Yeah, we can fish. I just got concerned that I wasn't fishing at the right hours. I always confuse morning fishing with evening fishing. I flip them all around. Well, we have the rest of 1900. And the rest of this hour. And hopefully get lucky and catch a pike. Because we've only caught two small fish. How long does a general run with a character last? That's all going to be up to you. I would say new players, try to aim for your first week. Surviving your first week. If you can get through your first week, you can probably get through the next month. And then after you get through the next month, then you need to start thinking about how it's going to be in winter. <laughs> Oh shit, I ran out of the lure and I fished over Fuck me. Please they have fish trap. No. Right, I've got shoes to dump. Goodbye shoes. I can't get over that box of nails, though. Truly. How did you forage that rat? I think this is the way. I think this is the way. Just a pleasant run through the woods in the middle of the night. Nothing will go wrong. Ditching all the fish right now. Man, even if we wake up for fishing time tomorrow, there's no guarantee that I'll even have anything to catch. Without the bait fish. Without the bait fish, what are we? I'm, I'm bust into the forbidden, the forbidden bug. Just in case rat starts starving, I would have a little bit of random food. Random food on her. And agitated it means it's time for a smoke. Once I was able to survive seven days, it becomes easy. Seven days are the sprint. Everything after that is the marathon. Turn your alarm back on for 3.40. Wake up bright and early and chipper. Also very, very hungry. I love how bright the snow is at night.
This is where I lose the path. Are we going up or down or where do I go from here? I think up. There it is. There it is. We take a sharp turn upward. Oh yes, let's look in on the carrots. How are you doing? Do you need more water? Flourishing fine. Flourishing fine. It's been quite a bit since you were last watered. But you'll be fine. Alright, fishing rod. Let's check the trap. Okay. Like a two fish. Picking you up. You're done for now. Fishing. Let's go. Start with the little bait fish. Into the hiking bag. Fantastic. A pair of shoes. Just what I wanted. Ooh, and socks. And now nothing. Are you too good for my cockroaches? <gasps> Delighted trying to th make me think we broke our fishing rod. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I know what's going to happen. I'm just not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I definitely need one, please, one crop of carrots before the fishing rod breaks. One crop of carrots, please. All right, that's it. We're done. We're done. Right, that should be enough. Just, uh, just a little more water. I need to fill up this bottle. We'll boil it. And then I'll grab the spears and then I'll be on my way to Killing Town. On my way to Killing Town. Hopefully good loot. Hopefully we'll get at least some good loot. Maybe a car, please game. <laughs> I deserve a car. I deserve a car. I need to double check to see if I have a can opener here. If I have a can opener, I think I'll take that with me just in case. Just in case. Oh, but I also do have all the candy. Can't forget about that. Can't forget about all the candy in the vending machine. I'll bring I'll bring a bag of candy too. And all of our fish, of course. Okay, prediction time. How many sticks? It's been what? It's been two stick and three plus stick. 
most of the stream. Most of the stream. Your cats are so cute. Thank you. I think they're also adorable. And they know I think they're adorable. And then they bully me. <laughs> they bully me. Constantly begging for treats and snacks. That they know I'm not strong enough to resist their puppy dog eyes. I'm just not strong enough. Don't need these socks. Little sticks, little sticks, let me win. Little sticks, little sticks. That's a... I mean, they're pretty tiny. They're pretty tiny, honestly. Oh, one thing I do want to snag. Besides the candy. I want to grab a full condition hunting knife. Uh, which I don't have. So I'll just take whatever hunting knife has the most condition. In case I need to be making spears while out and about town. You know what? Maybe orange soda. Orange sodi pop. And then one package of candy. I like the package of candy because it'll have a lot of uh it'll it'll have a lot of stuff in it that I can use to prevent starving to death if it gets to that point. The prediction the predictions are in. Let's find out. Let's find out whose point family will win. We'll eat little stick. <laughs> it's not one. I it has not been one I think at all today. I'm so sorry. 78% of you. It is not one. Will it be two? It's been two an awful lot today. No, it's another three plus kind of day. And let's sit on ground. Let's sit on ground, see if that'll help. I'll pay it out. I'll pay it out. It's three plus sticks. Emphasis on the plus. I don't want to run out of sturdy sticks. Oh my gosh, the flaming chicken. <laughs> Your rage. That's so goofy looking. I love it. Three stick gang, rise up. Our time is here. Three six has been good to me the past few streams. Yeah, we... I can't remember. Did we get three plus six yesterday? I know... We got some... We had almost eight plus sticks earlier today. Alright, this is the water bottle. That we'll take with. Eat up the all the ones that are under 20, I think. And then I'll take the other ones as our provisions. Hmm. 
Man, that small catfish, I thought it would have more, since it was bigger, since it was 22 centimeters, I thought it would have more uh, calorie hunger reduction. But it does not. Save that one for later. Time to nom on these little baby, baby, no cooking pans yet? No. We're I'm I'm back right at the start of the grind, so no cooking pans, just lost the bowl. Lost the bowl. It was eaten by the void. There might still be a cooking pan. Uh in here, I think this is the diner. There might be one up there. But I'm going to... I don't really need it. I don't really need it. Alright, perfect. You can carry all those spears. It's only 11. But we should make it in time. Which way do I want to go? This way is faster, but might be way harder to run. Because of the snow. Whereas this way is definitely going to be a longer run, but might be easier. I'll go this way. Well, I'll attempt. I'll attempt a snow run. And if it's awful and I can't, I'm constantly getting lost and having to check my map, then I'll switch it up for next time. But I think we'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. And it's been five days since the last helicopter event. Today is day five, so I should have plenty of time. Before I need to skedaddle out of there. Right. Let's get our axe out. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna do this efficiently. There'll be no touching of trees. I haven't missed the turn. Okay, good. No, I'm on track. I'm on track. Oh, here it is. Save some time. Cut diagonally. It's been one week since you looked at me. The timeline warp has changed so much. So much has been lost. So much has been lost. Essentially, two weeks of progress. Two weeks of progress. Also, already getting off off path. Already getting off trail. Save a little bit of that, because that I am using that to get some extra calories, get some liquid calories into rat, but also to quench quench the thirst. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is when full winter comes. I think this is going to be like a no go running through here. The thing I think that hurts the most is losing the cars. Losing the cars hurts the most from the the time warp. The cars finally meant no more having to run through the woods for like six hours of in-game time. Only to be like, no, fuck that. Get back to running through the woods. But you know, I guess it's just an opportunity to maybe get a character with 10 sprinting. You know? <laughs> There's this- th maybe this is the time. This is the time. This is the era. The grind sprinting to 10 era of Rat's existence. Hey Claire, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. I'm doing good. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and my doctor even said I was doing good. So that was nice. That's always great to hear. Did some routine blood work, treated myself to a donut afterwards because any excuse, <laughs> any excuse. Oh, I, I, I did. A they took a little bit of blood uh, for some testing. Better eat a donut. Don't want my blood sugar to drop. <laughs> it was worth it. I have no regrets. Would do again. Would eat more donut. Hello, forest zombie. I'll put you out of your misery. Also, it appears that uh, it's sitting time. And looking at map time. Okay, good. I'm almost there. Making great time sprinting through the woods, honestly. You want to drink the rest of your soda? How are you doing though, Vanishing Tower? How are you doing, chat, on this Thursday? Unscheduled, impromptu Thursday stream? Are you waiting for the weekend? <laughs> One more day. Friday is almost here. Oh, I remember that spot. That's the spot that I got particularly fucked by <laughs> tree generation. There's a couple. There's a couple ones. They're like right here, right in the middle of the path. No, I see the open area around. I do not care. I only wish to grow on path. squeeze through right there perfection all right so plan will be to make sure where we can't where we'll be staying for the next couple of nights is zombie as free from zombies as it can be and then we'll just start working on the road And if we get lucky, new car, new car. Maybe another katana. 
I know last time, yesterday, when I was running through this area, kind of getting a feel for it, someone said they they spotted a katana out. Doing great, thanks for asking. I just Glad. think they're neat. Oh man, I once had to walk the fifth floor of our hospital. I treated myself to a donut for that. Any excuse. Any excuse for a donut is what I say. A little too chilly outside? Donut. A little too hot outside? Donut. <laughs> Tired after top typing long sentences? Donut. Great yourself. Rat 7 is truly roughing it. She realizes she's not a city rat. She's a forest rat. She's a forest rat that is being forced... forced out into the city. Hopefully we'll get lucky and have some more seeds. That would be fantastic. Oh my god, there's so many there. Why are there so many there? And they're all like standing six feet apart. I have to look at that again. Unless I've pulled them, pulled them all. But they were social distancing. All those zombies, they're like, we're not, don't worry, we're not a horde. We're not a big horde. We're all standing five feet apart. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Where'd that where'd that watch go? Okay, well now they're more clumped up, but look, look into the woods. There, there. There, how many, how many more are hiding directly beyond, behind trees? Do you all have anything interesting on you? Not really. I'm seeing nothing, so I'm going to avoid you for now. I'm going to avoid you for now. And fight these zombies. And when you wander close to the road, that's when I'll fight you. <laughs> I thought I was getting some from down there. I heard their extra cries. Oh, you have something shoved inside of you. Richmond was getting a very rare heavy snowstorm. News comes on warning, like right now? Or news comes, let me read the whole thing. Not jump to conclusions right at the start. News comes on warning everyone to stay off roads with a remote feed showing <laughs> deserted six lane road through town. In the background is Krispy Kreme with fresh donut lights on. The wife looks at me and says, are we? I looked at her and said, yes, <laughs> we are making a donut run. Then we did. Fuck yeah. I love Krispy Kreme. They have the best donuts. They do. All right, that's just a screwdriver. I don't need a screwdriver. I have one. Thanks, but no thanks. 
thanks, but no thanks. Dying of hun hunger? Donut. Not dying of hunger? Donut. <laughs> Fighting zombies? Donut. Alright, I think she... I'm looking for additional knives. Yeah, because I know I'm going to have to make some more spears. I know I'm going to have to make some more spears. Man, it's going to be dark by the time I fight all these road zombies. <laughs> Might have to do a little run. Might have to do a little run. I'll come back and fight you later, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Or follow me all the way to where I'm staying tonight and I will fight you there. Those are your options. Either wait. Or follow me to this point, essentially. Is that a fork or a spoon? It's a fork. It's almost always a fork. I feel like I very rarely see spoons shoved into zombies. I hear the attention. I want to set up my spear and then I will fight this group. Now's the time, now's the time where you get exhausted. I'm doubling back this way to hopefully prevent pulling more zombies. Louise, thank you. I'm gonna have a god damn it. I want to sit down. Let me sit on the ground. No, oh my god. Oh my god, fuck that. I can't believe it did an animation lock with a zombie that close. Oh my gosh, game. Why the fuck are you trying to give me heart attacks? Why the fuck are you trying to give me heart attacks? That was so close. That fucking push. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got that off. Oh god, I don't even want to think about you dying. I don't want to think about you dying right now, rat. Oh, I will feel like I'll... If she dies, if she dies before 1995, I will feel like I have stolen something from Rat. I feel like I will have stolen something precious from her. <laughs> That's... That right there is why I hate Spears. Normally, it's supposed to be impossible. Impossible for that to happen. But the game do be jank. The game do be janky sometimes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even sit down. Let's sit. Sit and rest. Catch catch your breath, rat. 
Sorry, I was just catching mine. <laughs> That gasp. I mean, I was... The, the gasp was the pre-death, like, oh no, oh no. Gotta be Riddick to be able to kill zombies with a spoon. Hey, the zombies are up and walking around. I just went utensils impaled in them. Do you have to be Riddick to impale? A spoon into a zombie? Probably to live and tell the tale. Jeez. Okay, another huge group right down here. I can finish them off. I can finish them off before tonight. Enjoy nature and ignore the two corpses next to you. Yeah, it's perfect. Didn't you clear this place out yesterday? Yeah, like last stream. It's just it's just the way of it. The zombie migration way. They seek to fill the empty the empty space I create. Okay, there goes the spear. I'll go- I'll get those matches. I'll get those matches after this d dude. Thank you. And also, let me redo my spear. Have a backup spear ready to go. I'm being really good about my spears this time. I just like, uh, <laughs> just like to point that out to you, chat. Just want to say, I've been really good about not going into combat with a only a half broken spear in my hands. You know which animation I hate. I assume that's what you mean by one, the shove animation that happens randomly sometimes. It happens when you still have time to normal push and locks you up for too long. Ooh. I just try to, I try to play very cautiously. I know I don't have like enough combat experience in PZ to do too many risky things. Milk cautiously? What? I feel like I play very cautiously. <laughs> Do I not? <laughs> I feel like I take, you know, I'm always taking time, making sure my back is clear, taking on in zombie infested areas one small section at a time. Greetings. I, sometimes I do risky things. But they're always calculated risks. Okay, another broken spear. There you go. There you go, dear. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me burn this into my brain. Jamie Town. There's no S. It's not James. And it's not Town, actually. I'm just adding in a W. It's Jamieton. Jamieton. It's like Bridgerton, but Jamie. Jamieton. You know what? You know what? 
I'm gonna write it on the map. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Holy shit. Never want to hear the gurgle of a zombie when you open your map. Oh, why'd you wait to the last minute, you fucking asshole? You were waiting, you were plotting for my downfall. <laughs> All right, another little group over there and more over here. Hey, at least all the corpses that were out here have rotted away. At least I have that going for me. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, then dash. I don't need that. I don't need... I'm breaking too many spears. I'm breaking too many spears already. I don't need any more heart-pounding action. I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> We've got one more tiny little group to kill. One more, and then we can return to the safety of the inside. You ain't seen ca cautiously till you see how I play. Compared to me, you're living on the edge of living on the edge of danger. Is your middle name? Yes, the edge of danger. I'll take it. I'll take it. At least all the corpses rot got a rotted away. You gotta enjoy the little things in life that spark joy. Hey, at least being out here uh, isn't making us sick. <laughs> isn't potentially a health hazard that might end up killing our characters. At least I got that going for me. And look, we're almost done. Almost done re-murdering -mur all the zombies in the area. Just drenched in blood. <laughs> drenched in blood. This is a, a, a... What? A parking lot of destruction? Watch as another animation lock happens. I mean, it's fine. When it's, when it's just the one, it's fine. Okay. Doesn't look like any zombies wandered in. No zombies in the tents. Can you... Oh, but you do have to go outside. See, that's what I was trying to do. <gasps> Dude, I love the tent buildings. Why do they look so good? Why do they look so good? Okay, let me just pick this up. And put it on top of a roof somewhere. Let me just pick this up, game. And put it on top of a roof in Louisville, please. I'll do it. I'll pick it up one square tile at a time. <laughs> It's dark. I'm not going to be fighting outside, but this is what I am. Let's see if I can secure this place a little better. Hello, I have crap to put inside of you. Both these windows are broken. I'm going to set... I'm gonna set those sh that shelving unit up. Hopefully, to block the windows. I think it'll work. I can test it. Okay. 
If you're ever having trouble picking up furniture like that, it just means you have to drop your backpack. Your overall encumbrance is too great. Oh, no. I think the zombies will be able to get in. The shelf will not protect me. I guess that's okay. louder than I thought it would be. So I'm just doing some nighttime furniture stealing. I'm sure I won't disturb anyone. I also need to keep an eye out for, um, I also need to keep an eye out for chip stones too, because this axe, I hope it can chop down this tree before it breaks. This will give us our spear supply for tomorrow. And we have our little campfire. Is there a trash can? There's gotta be a trash can in here. I need to find that too. The bathroom? and you shall receive. There's your water bottle. All right, I gotta fill up once again. Fill up our water bottles out in town. Uh, a little hungry. Slightly over encumbered. Oh, but we fixed that. All right, time to sleep. The tent will protect us. The tent will protect us. Even if a zombie wanders up, the tent will take a hit for us. Oh, shit. I forgot. I forgot about your alarm. You know what? How about I just set that to a normal na hour since we're all the way out here anyway? How would you like to have an alarm that doesn't wake you up until 6 a.m.? All right, and I'm only eating food when she's about to starve, unless I stumble upon a jackpot, a jackpot of food. Thanks for reminding me. Ooh, thank you, love. I see it. I 
I'd be cowering in my base at this time of the day. But Milk is running around cautiously and carefree. Well, I've been here multiple times, right? I've been here multiple times. Hopefully... It's good, good visibility. It's just 4 a.m. It's just 4 a.m. I want to fill up my water bottles over here. But I'm not brave enough to go into the extra dark buildings. Can? I don't need insects. Uh, let's do trash. But also just a hope we get some chipstones. Oh no, we are not. <laughs> Not foraging tonight. They're destroying beautiful windows. I hope you know that, zombies. Beautiful windows. Very aggressive. Okay, there's a big group over there as well. Alright. Fancy underpants. Fancy underpants. <laughs> I thought there was another zombie in here. Too bad. Do these have like a display? Oh my gosh. What are these? These are so bright. I kind of want them. I kind of have to have them. I kind of have to have the bright canary yellow. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Shell suit pants. Also, welcome in, Arcane Enigma. Welcome in. I'm not going back there. It sounds dangerous. It sounds dangerous. Oh, <gasps> beanie hats. Hey, this is this is a distraction. This is a distraction. I need water. I need water. There is always someone. There is always someone in this bakery. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good evening, Ms. Toast. Chat, friends. Good evening to you. Good time zone to everyone. Ooh, you know what? Salutations. Salutations. I love that. Okay, I will take the bucket. Buckets are good. You want? I want to hit this trash pile. Trash pile. What? What do you give me? Anything? I'll take it. Chipstone. I'll take it. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Alright, bucket. I guess I'll place you down on the ground on the off chance that it does rain. Ooh, also, 10 scrap electronics. I don't need to keep you on me. Let's do, yeah, I'm just going to stash all of my things in that vending machine for now. <laughs> good morrow. Good morrow to you, sir. And to you as well, madame. Alright, it's time. Helicopter! Helicopter! <laughs>
It's murder on the highway time. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up right now for those of you who don't know where we're headed. This is where we currently are. The big, the beautiful Deer Head Lake Park Ranger Station. Uh, this is where <laughs> we ran just yesterday. This is where we've been camping out. Jamieton Army Surplus, and then we're gonna head down this road to this house right here. Maybe this one, it depends, but one of these two houses shall become the new uh, forward operations base, and we'll loot loot the rest of the town from there. But when I went on a little reconnaissance mission, it was incredibly overrun with zombies. There were like a lot of zombies. More than I thought there would be. You know what? Let's do caps. Too far, too far, too far. Nice. I like that. I like that. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay. You just missed me. <laughs> Fuck. I added it. Jamieton. It is now official. I have updated this map and I will never forget the name of this teeny tiny town. Alright, gotta head to a meeting and then straight to more errand runs after. Hopefully I catch the end of the stream, but if not, have a good stream. Have a good day. Have a good day, Mary. And thanks for the heads up on the map. Don't confuse me, love. I already want to call it Jacksonville. It is already... inside. That little brain worm is eating... <laughs> eating me alive. This is Florida, right? This is what Florida looks like. Snow and pine trees everywhere. What do you look out for when deciding on a base? Okay. Uh, honestly, my number... Uh, two stories. Two stories is pretty much recommended. I mean, you can go higher, but basically not ground floor will help protect you more from zombies. So anywhere that's not ground floor, and then you can kind of take certain things into consideration. Like if you took agoraphobic, you can't base in some of the like larger, more open air bases, I believe. If you take claustrophobic, you're gonna be looking for like a warehouse or something. Something with a big open space, uh, which won't trigger your claustrophobia. But for the most part, if you're not dealing with some kind of trait, trait situation, two stories, two stories, rope ladders or sheet ropes out your windows for all extra escape routes, boarded up first floor. It's a pretty good base. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> trying to tank a huge like helicopter event that you know a bunch of zombies will show up to there. But with that basic setup, you should be okay. 
to deal with like small groups of zombies. And you can also use certain types of furniture, like fridges are very good for barricading windows and or doors. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try not to pull that big group. Thank you, game. I really appreciate that. But uh, the trees, <laughs> that small patch of trees seems to be doing a good job. They're not fucking with me. Is this the... Is this a police station? Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> There's a mug in there. I... Might really want that mug. I might really want that mug. Alright, that was a good- fuck- fuck you, PZ. That was a good jump scare. <laughs> that was a good, good jump scare. The very last window I look into is the zombie one, also closest to the corner. So, the most- most danger. Alright, she opened that window for me. I'm gonna get this group. And we'll pull back and fight some. And since I don't have a car, I don't have to worry about keeping the road drivable. Interesting. Thanks. That helps. No worries. But honestly, I mean, personally speaking, the... The best base location is going to be the base location that you like the most. So, the building you think, hey, that'll make a cool base? Do that one. Do that one. Why- why are you all like that? <laughs> why were you all so spread out? That's cheating. You're not allowed to use tactics, zombies. You're not allowed to use tactics. You're all supposed to group up in the designated dance number. Ooh, three broken spears. Please relieve me of my bounty. That Jamieton may have some Spanish origin. <laughs> and be pronounced more like he, Jamieton? No. I, maybe, maybe it could be. But I'm trying to imagine any of my relatives from Kentucky saying something. And you know they'd be like, it's Jamieton. <laughs> it's not Louisville. It's Louisville. But that would be cool. I love that all the different names for places in America, like, uh, Miami, Ohio, <laughs> oh, Miami, Ohio. Isn't there also like a Paris, Ohio, pa Paris, Texas? Come on over. Oh, 
Oh, greetings, giant group of zombies. <laughs> greetings, giant group of zombies. I wonder if I should... No, I want to clear... I'm, I'm just trying to clear zombies. Because there are actually a ton, a ton at those little residential house housing area. Alright, I see one watch and nothing else. Also need to give Rat a sip, a sip of her water. Honestly, we've probably broken out enough spears that the encumbrance doesn't have to be micromanaged anymore. Welcome in, uh, Uga? Uga Dugu? Uh oh, uh oh. Where are you? You're coming from over there? Alright, I'm gonna double back. I'm gonna double back. Give me back snow trees, game. Give me back the snow trees. I want them. I want them. Alright. Anxious, not agitated. So, no cigarette yet. Let me look at that end again. So it's O U G A D O O G U. Oog. Adu. Ogu. I don't know. I could boggle your name. I could boggle your name infinitely. <laughs> there are many a possibilities for pronunciation out of that one. Ga do goo. Okay. What an interesting name. Right? Also, dude, are you a farmer? Do you perchance have seeds for me? Please. Fucking fake farmer with your non boot wearing feet. Nimrod, Minnesota. Hello everyone, guess what? Tomorrow is my birthday, a whole ass 32 year old lady. Oh, you're here. Whenever I hear it, I hear Jenna Marbles. You're a 32 year old lady. <laughs> Happy birthday, enjoy it. All right, that's a steak. That's a steak. Ooh. Zombie delivery service bringing me a free hand axe. Thank you so much. I've been waiting on this delivery for months. All right, are you gonna be a fake farmer? Are you gonna be a real farmer?
Who gas and go t-shirt? Dang. Right, fake farmer. Maybe a farmer who was daylighting as a gas and go employee. Farmersonly.com. Look, I need seeds. I need seeds. All right, no fake farmers. Only real cabbage, potato, tomato. Oh, the aggressive push after the break. I'm actually really glad we got that backup backup axe, hand axe. That's one of the things I should have brought with me. So I wouldn't have to waste time trying to forage for chipped stones. Holy rabbits, it's my birthday tomorrow too, along with my wife. Love all you New Year's babies. Dude, I share a birthday with my mom. I can't imagine sharing a birthday. With an SO. <laughs> too many, too many birthdays. You share your B-Day B -day with your er older brother? Ooh. I feel like having an older brother with the same birthday as you is like, uh, you get to get bullied for the rest of your sibling relationship because you stole your brother's birthday. You stole your brother's birthday. <laughs> if any of my little siblings had had the audacity to be born on the day that I already have to share... <laughs> No, it'd be fine. It would be fine. But that is funny. <gasps> the flannel zombies, man. The flannel zombies, they're the ones who are packing the seeds. Thank you. Thank you for the potato seeds. I really, honestly, truly do appreciate that. Not starving through winter. That's the goal. That's the goal. And look. We're getting close to our destination. I see the first bit of fence. We might even get a set foot inside of the house tonight. You know, I'm going to preemptively eat one of these fish fillets. Preemptively eat one of these fish fillets. Because I feel like as soon as I engage the next big group of zombies, it'll, it would have been starvation time. And a refill on cigarettes? You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. I'm the cranky older one. I never got my own gift. Lamau. Oh, the curse of the younger sibling. Always hand-me-downs. <laughs> the only notable thing I share my birthday with is JFK's assassination date. Hey, don't worry. That means you are the specialist one in your family, in your group of friends. You don't got to share your special day with anyone. It's all yours. Milk it. Milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> Get all the presents and cake. His birthday present was to name me. He named me the most popular Bible name in the 1990s. Don't answer, but I'm thinking John. I'm thinking John. I knew so many Johns in school. John's a Bible name, isn't it? <laughs> Questions everything. Questions everything. No, I'm not thinking of John. I'm thinking of Matt. Matthew. So many Matthews.
I was gonna just. I was just gonna make. I we, I keep seeing the red corsets. I don't know, man. Are you trying to tell me something? Is red your color, Rat Seven? But what about your beautiful baby pink corset combo? Oh, this, a spear that broke and had to be abandoned. I'll I'll find a I'll put that on a nature's trash can. I got a little nervous again. <laughs> I got a little nervous again. There was another little, little too close for comfort. Zombie interaction right there. So many screwdrivers. Nervous have a donut? Oh man, I wish I had donuts. I wish I had donuts. John is a popular name. Yes, jo yeah, John the Baptist. Okay. I was like, I think John is a name, a Bible name, but now it just sounds just so like generic English kind of name, like, like you know, John Doe, Jane Doe. I'm like, am I just losing my mind? <laughs> Not I not my Bible trivia. How could I forget any of it? It's so important to me. <laughs> oh another broken one. Oh shit, and I didn't have the setup. Oh my last two spears. This is good progress. We'll see. We're, I mean, I'm almost there. There's definitely a lot of zombies around, but... Basically, we cleared the whole road up until this point. Now we just have to clear the houses, hopefully. Maybe I'll make some more spears. I'm seeing the knives. I, I have the axe. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll just make some spears. This tree? Fuck this tree. Which one of you had the... also the knife? Your boots. Ooh, I see you. I see you hiding behind my menu. All right, your boots are not better than my boots. Your boots are not better than my boots. Ooh, and it's a very good condition hunting knife. Excellent. All right, I like this tree. There's nothing around this tree. This is a good tree to chop. It's a good tree to chop. And I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not gonna use it anymore. That'll just be for... I'll, I'll just use that one for running running through the darkness. And this will be the tree chopping one. So I don't have to worry about it breaking. And I know I'll have one forever to use. Okay, a little pocket there. There's probably going to be a decent amount on the gravel road.
How's this water bottle doing? Halfway. Oh, it was totally worth grinding, even without the carpentry book, to get those three levels of carp- or that last- that third level of carpentry. I'm so glad. So glad. All these spears are coming out full- full condition. Greetings! Hello! I wish to engage in, uh, combat with you over this way. <laughs> Everyone wants to talk about Matthew, <laughs> but what about math me? That sounds like a math me. Sounds like a after school educational program that your parents take you to because you're failing <laughs> fourth grade math. <laughs> Welcome to math and me. Man. You guys had the same haircut. I just appreciated that as you died. Oh, <gasps> give me more seeds. Oh my gosh. I'm getting all the fucking good seeds out here, man. I'm having the best seed luck right now. I love it. Come to the farmland. That's another hot tip. If you want seed, come to farm. Although, I will say, Rat 6 was in farmland a whole lot, and I feel like it took forever to find seeds on her. But I now have a potato and broccoli. Just give me cabbage, and I'll be set. Alright, and now I'm gonna use the fence to clear. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Why'd you all... <laughs> Why'd you all go on that side of the fence? Why'd you all go on that side of the fence, zombies? So many cowboy hats. Oh, damn it. I didn't set up my spears properly. There you go. Oh. A double helping. Okay. So once again, this is vibe science, but I do think it's faster if you're doing this setup with a spear on the back and one in your hands. Ooh. When you go... When your spear breaks, you should have one on your back and then you immediately swap to it with one. And then when you go to your backpack, uh, just attach attach that spear to your back. It's faster than pulling a spear out of your backpack and equipping it in your hands. At least it feels faster. You know what? I'll wait. I'll wait till I kill all the zombies and then check, I'm sure, the tremendous corpse pile that'll be here. Bags are slow. Even with dexterous. Even with dexterous. Right, most of them stayed on the right side this time. <gasps> what the fuck is this luck? What is this luck? Oh my gosh, this is all... <laughs> this is all the good karma. I'm... F and a trowel? 
God, Bunny. Bunny would die. Bunny would die for the loot you're getting right now, rat. I mean, I don't need it, but I, I guess I'll take it. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, a device over here to grow things. Okay, those boots. A little bit fucked up. I don't want them. They got a scuff mark on them. I don't want them. <laughs> don't forget to bring a trowel. Alright. I'm about to collect every single seed. I've got a, a flannel. Oh, but neither, neither of you. Neither of you had the goods. Alright. Here we are. Let's see if uh, we can get into the house tonight. Maybe not. There's a lot of there's a lot of heat. A lot of heat in the area. Letter opener figured. Oh my gosh. Broccoli, cabbage, potato, strawberry, tomato, no dupes. And I have the carrot seeds back at home. Is this everything? Radishes. The only thing I'm missing is the thing I care least about. I'm kind of ecstatic. <laughs> this is good. I don't know if this is a... Uh... This is good. This is some good luck. Finally, some good loot luck. I need you all to not be so spread out like that. That's... I can't deal with that. Next thing I need is just like a car waiting for me at the end of this driveway. What is with this angle? Why am I... Am I just... Stay on this side. Keep keep coming on over here. All right, some of you some of you figured it out. Some of you figured it out. Okay, and I have a uh, ten days to check all all those corpses, so I will wait. I will wait some. Let them oh, more fucking broccoli seeds. Alright, our food issue will be solved. Our food issue will be solved soon enough. If we can just make it <laughs> until all this produce comes to bear. Uh, we won't at least starve. We may not thrive without any protein through winter, but we'll at least not starve to death. Vibe science slash beer science. Fighting in that exact angle is the worst. Fighting in the five o'clock angle will get you killed more. I hate fighting. Um, yeah, I hate fighting where it's real in that angle. It's so hard to see how close the zombies are to you. And without a... Uh, Wait. 
group down there. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Let's see how it goes. Or I was gonna say, fighting without like the little outline to show me if they're actually in range it makes me extra nervous. Extra nervous. Alright, I'm just gonna try to get this whole big group to follow me as best they can. Oh. I thought you were all gonna clump up, but you're actually... for the most part, coming at me one at a time, which I greatly appreciate that. Alright. Ever since I talked about being good with my spears, I feel like I haven't been good with my spears. <laughs> Ever since I mentioned it... I was like, look at me, I'm not fucking up at all. And then after that, it's all been fuck ups. <laughs> Man, but we broke close to 14 spears today how many what's our, what's the kill count i wish i had checked i wish i had checked before 1781 getting close getting close I'm gonna search through these zombies and then I'm gonna head home. I think I could push into the building and take it, but it is getting dark. The building will be darker inside than it is outside since the power is off. And we did such good work today. <laughs> we did such good work today. It would be a shame uh, to do a rushed push at the last minute and uh ruin the house, so to speak. So... I'll wait on it. I'll wait on it. Also fatigued, so sit down and then we can run back. Sit down and then you can recover and then we can run all the way back home. I'm just going to wait a little extra. I hope we fully rest. Ooh, from a wise man. Lamprey says, aim with the location of their feet, not their head. Are you talking about your, your player character? Aim with your feet? That's good advice. When I was reading stuff about uh, fighting, like getting better with combat and stuff like that, that was one of the suggestions. They were like, look at where your actual character is facing. Like, look at where they're facing. That is where your attacks will be headed. So that's what I try to do. That's why you'll, if I'm fighting a group of zombies, I often won't keep like the plunger 
on them, but I'll pull it back so I can kind of make sure that my character is facing facing the right way. Oh goodness gracious, that's a l pile of zombies. I'm glad I didn't accidentally back into that. Jeez. All right, I need to take care of that tomorrow. I wonder if they moved out from the farm and over the fence. I'll definitely take care of that next time. Next time we come back. No, the zombie zomboid feet. The feet are vulnerable. How is the water situation? Oh, we're fine on the water situation. Absolutely fine on the water situation. Still might take the time to fill up uh, out here. Jeez. This is why I never ignore pockets of zombies because they'll always just move and become a problem. A problem for you to deal with later. The premonition on that spear break. <laughs> Maybe I am learning. Maybe I am learning. Alright, I'm gonna loop around so I know there was some... I had two straggler zombies. So I don't want to accidentally walk into them. Damn you. Why did you fall back so far? Swap in the good water bottle and then put this on our back. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Just standing on a pile of corpses. Right, I'm using the wrong nightstick. Number three is the nightstick I'm trying to use because it's almost broken and I just... I just want to get my hits out of it. You know what though? I'm switching to the spear. Because yeah, with exhaustion and tiredness, I need these instant kills. Hopefully, for the last time in a while. Alright, tomorrow I make... Who? Okay, I should... I'll, tomorrow I'll put... No, I'll keep the seeds on me, actually. Because I might want to set up... I'll probably want to set up, honestly farming as soon as possible. Oh, 
oh god do i do the farming here yeah no i i don't do the farming here i there won't be enough water that's the one issue about staying here so for the rest of winter snow in vanilla project zomboid will not collect in rain barrels so you're gonna need a source of water i don't think there's a source of water nearby right these are these are the houses no <gasps> where am i these are my houses this one and this one Yeah, I don't know if I want to do a large farming operation over here. So I will be planting, I guess, the crops back at the ranger base, but... Maybe. Maybe a small batch. Maybe a small batch here. I just dried my sweaty PZ character with towels. I produced seven fully wet bath towels. Imagine being so sweaty that you soak seven full bath towels. Just peasy things. Just peasy things. You know, do I take one of the tents with me? Let's see how heavy it is. Mm, might be slightly too heavy. Might be slightly too heavy. All right, prep work for today consists of chopping, chopping more tree, making more spears. I'm going to save the last branch and make sure I have I have at least one branch that if I need to make a chipstone axe, I can. I can. And I really need a trash can for out here. Also, any other scrap electronic? Yes, 16. How much does that weigh? 1.6. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to open the candy pack. <laughs> okay. 
keep keep one lollipop in our main inventory in case the hunger hits you know what i'll just turn it off i'll just turn off the alarm for now <laughs> save the last branch for me There's a w the weird fork lake that's even further from your camp busy beaver base. Oh. Why is there always a zombie in here? That sure is convenient. Also, are these two tables set up on top of each other? And I never knew you could do that. Ooh, okay. There is some good rotten shit back here I could take for composting. That's actually really good to know. I might bring that home. I am learning the power of composting. NPZ. And, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's how tables are made. You just, just when one table really likes another table, they come together. Can I hit these trash piles over here, though? Maybe get lucky. Maybe find something cool. Oh my gosh. Just a potato? What a fertile land this is. What a fertile and generous land. Hey. Right. The return trip to get our house will happen after my break. <laughs> Follow to stay in the loop. Put your notifications on to find out when the zombie apocalypse is happening. I'm back. I'm back and I'm ready to kill. Ready to murder. Just got one dude. Hello, hello. Let me introduce you to the pointy end. Also, kitchen knife? I'll take it. That's a spear making machine. That's a spear making machine. Did you have a good break, chat? I made a quesadilla and I feel like that was the best choice I could make <laughs> he scared me to death I was concentrating on work and forgot I had a headphone in oh got you 
I got you. <laughs> What was that map? Was that an annotated map? No, just a regular West Point map. Not important. It's okay. I'm sure you'll get me in return one of these days. Oh, I should just take care of this little group. I should just take care of this group. Doing good. Doesn't look like there's anything on that, uh, police officer. Right, that group that was over there, I guess, has wandered away. No touch. My cat was asking for attention. She was asking for pets, and I had to give pets. Ooh, you had nothing, no guns, but I'll take, I'll take the ammo, actually. That's, I'd prefer that. I prefer that. Just free ammo? Give me that anytime. Anytime. Alright. This dress is tempting me. It should be white, so patching it might be interesting looking. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what that garment will look like once I patch it with white sheets. Anything else? No. Alright, and these I've pretty I've picked picked through pretty well. Another little group of Zambonis. Hello, hello. I'm gonna wait till I get a little closer and it's a little more sure. What the fuck is going on? The bountiful road. The bountiful road has given us more zombies. Thanks. I appreciate that. Just when I was thinking I had fought enough zombies. <laughs> Okay, cat. I'm just a cat butler. It is my lot in life and I accept it. <gasps> An empty spray can? What am I what treasure are you finding? The farmer's life is calling. Is calling. There we go. One lollipop to make starvation go away. <laughs> I 
Ooh, we got a twin outfit. A couple's a couple's fit. Boy and girl. Matching yellow flannel. And dark pants. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, happy music. I don't... I don't get too much of that. <laughs> anymore. Weapon refill. Hello, ma'am. Okay, it is the 15th, and the helicopter date was on the 8th, so this is day 7. Day 7. Alright, this group I want to kill. I can... I can go pretty far. I'm pretty far down the fence line. Before running into trouble. Oh my gosh, it's another couple's fit. You know that's not a normal <laughs> shade of green. Carefully color coordinated. Hello, hello, anything? Oh, I saw them. Give me those tomato seeds. My gosh. Man, I hope... I hope Bunny gets a farmer zombie. I hope Bunny gets a farmer zombie with a trowel on them. Otherwise, I think the only our only luck will be foraging. Alright, there's some up there, but I'm gonna focus mainly on the houses today. Mainly on clearing in and around the houses. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see what loot we're looking with and what layout each of the areas has. And then I'll take my pick. Take my pick. Yeah, well, we can start. We can start with the garage. You found the gap in the fence. Look at you, smart zombie. Oh. 
need to dump some dead weight, it appears. How many? Okay, just one broken spear. Must be because we're very hungry now. Very hungry. the number three one. This is the one that's almost broken. Thank you for the crowbar. I'll trade you. I've got a broken nightstick. Wait, what weapon do I want on my on my belt now? I don't think I want to use an axe. Let's let's do a belt. We'll do a knife. We'll do a knife on our belt. That's always nice. All right, I'm hoping easy access into this. I don't think I saw. Any windows. It's time for our next anti-starvation medicine. Here. One mint candy. All for you. Get another one ready. Okay, there's the window. Good, I don't have to accidentally, or I don't have to break the garage door. Windows open. Garden saw. Oh, lots of saws. Ooh, fertilizer. <gasps> Finally a sack. Thank you. Thank you. I can make my rooftop garden now. Oh, I'll open this up too. I'll open this up too. Uh, hello, D Maver. Uh, those are all the mods I play with. Um, this save file, my rat save file, currently only uses the first one in the list. Pillows, cabin, spawn. The rest, the rest of the mods are mainly for integration on my other save file that I play on the weekends. Thank you. 
give her the double kill game. But I'm not seeing anything. I don't want to kill you on our lawn. I don't want to kill you on the lawn. Come over here. Come over here to the driveway. I don't want your blood splatter to be flung about. So this is so many zombies in this pile. It's going to become a very no-no area. Uh, don't breathe the stinky air over there. Ooh, you're starving again? This candy is not lasting long. Alright, here's the prediction, chat. Here's the prediction. Will we find either of these three? Either of these three in the house. A pot, a roasting dish, a roasting pan, or a frying pan. I'm going to say big pot. Big pot. We're going to be specific. No, if we'll, <laughs> no, there's, you can bet on big pot, you can bet on roasting van, you can bet on frying pan, or you can bet on none. It could be none. It's probably most likely none, right? But I mean, I don't know. You never... Ooh, I should have added bowl. I should have added bowl next time. Next time, bowl will be an option. Unless we find a bowl, in which case, I don't care. Ooh, you had another garden spray can. These farmer zombies are loaded it's like the game was just waiting for me to come to Farmville. I'm afraid to start peeking inside because I might reveal too much, you know. Might reveal too much. I've got two backup crafted spears. Okay, let me take this small group out. Fuck, it's never just one small group. It's never just one small group, but we'll start with this one. Where are you going? Where Where are you going? Wait. I guess maybe the loud noise. The loud noise drew them over there first. No touching my toes. Why did you go so far out, dude? I had you set up all perfectly 
by the fence, and then you just fucked it all up. You fucked up the combat strategy. I should take it easy and earn these last 15k the slow and steady way. Yeah, but you 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 could throw you could throw a ten you could throw ten just for the fun of it. <laughs> That'd be me, ten every time. That's it. That's the max. Win small, lose small. <laughs> oh my gosh. Such a... I've never... So many fucking seeds. Oh my gosh. Game. Here, quick. No, eat. Eat a lollipop. Nom nom nom. Delicious lollipop. Don't... Don't starve to death. You have so... Much to live for. So much to live for. Alright. Uh, I think I need to- sorry, I think I need to kill out- kill this group, because they're gonna see me through the window, and I won't be able to comfortably loot inside, so we're gonna have to wait. I could- I should've made it longer. <laughs> I should've made it longer. that cleaver. I'm gonna put that on my belt instead of the hunting knife. I got two bag zombies. Two bag zombies. I'm gonna draw them around the corner. I think that'll be best. Don't get confused. Don't all of you get confused. Okay, good job. Some of you. Some of you know the way. GG, have fun. I said I was going all in. Oh my gosh. Drunk Star and Trooper. What are these? What are this? Oh my gosh. 11.6k on none. Gosh, now I'm rooting against myself and I'm hoping. I'm hoping we find nothing. I'm hoping we find nothing. Right, she's on the door. Dang, I thought I killed all of you. Uh oh. Alright, one out front and another one over there. Okay, so I'm glad I checked instead of jumping into the house, which is what I was kind of thinking about doing. Yeah, especially if my spear was gonna break on the first zombie. On the first zombie. Uh oh. The window has been opened. Oh my gosh, go away, go away. Ooh, down to two spears as well. Did this guy give up and not... You just don't want me to have nice things. 
fuck that window. If it can't open. If it can't open. Smash it. Ooh, and there were zombies upstairs. Ooh, goodness gracious. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn you. Leave me alone. I'm breaking my rule. I'm getting the garden dirty. It, you all asked for this. <laughs> Here. Have a smoke. Calm your nerves. I don't need windows. Who needs windows? I'm just trying to prevent any starvation from happening while I'm inside. Okay. Where was that other broken window? It's not the bathroom. It wasn't back here. It's not this one. Was it upstairs? It must be an upstairs window. outside? I don't know. Oh, there's the stairs. was already open. Okay, good. Gosh. Alright, I'm definitely hearing at least some upstairs. Okay, cool. I was like, I think there are some up there. I want to try to get as many that are up there down here as possible. I hear a lot of doors smashing upstairs. Let's check the kitchen. Let's pay. <gasps> Thank you for the bowl. Not on the list. Not on the list. Should have included it. Baking pan. Not one of them. Not one of the things. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Here you go. There's none. We'll wait. Maybe I should ch wait till I search the whole house. I'll wait till I search the whole house. But it looks like... Uh, it looks like it, the answer is none. Unless there's mystery loot somewhere. I still hear a lot of banging from upstairs. No one else has come down? Okay, door. I swear to god, if you break. Now that I'm right fucking here. Shit, I fucked with that door flash. Oh my god. At least it looks like it. Good old push. Good old push. Let's not fuck with this one. Mm -hmm. 
I did fuck it up, but it's okay. Little pig, little pig. <laughs> I'm spamming it Let too much. Oi, oi, oi. Welcome in, Miguel. Mitt Hut? Miguel? Mitt Hut? Welcome in. All right. No, no pot. No pot. Sewing kit with a needle. Fuck yes. I think there's a zombie in there. And that's the only way how to get into that room. Oh no, there's gonna be a zombie in here. If it didn't jump out the front window. Ooh, a belt. There you go. You need a belt. Well, this is definitely the bedroom to sleep in. It has a connected bathroom. All right, I think this house is clear. Paper bag, all oh, fried chicken and fries. They're not rotted at all, right? That's that bathroom. Okay, I'm paying it out. None. There was no big pot, no roasting pan, and no frying pan. But there was bull, and I am happy for bull. I am very happy for bull. I love a good post slaughter smoke. It's what you need to take the edge off. Oh, you know what we can do with this bull? You know what glorious thing we can do with this bowl? We can make potato salad. We can make potato salad. Ooh, I can add our nettles as a spice. I'm not going to. Those are my starvation preventers. <laughs> But I love potato and bowl. I love potato and bowl. That's your reward. That's where your reward... Okay, but we will be uh, sleeping here. Sleeping here for the night. We'll check out the other house. I guess tomorrow. I like that this one has the garage. I can't remember if the other one has a garage, but... I am very partial. Very partial. I think I'll probably even I'll, I'll probably fortify both of these houses just to be on the safe side. Uh, are there any corpses upstairs? And look, I have a weird this bookcase is in a weird direction. Foraging three. Is that actually useful to us? This is one. This is two. Hell, yes, it is. I know what you're reading tonight. I know what you're reading tonight. Uh, after you remove the corpses.
There are a lot of zombies in this house. I feel like that it, that's not surprising on 16x. It's like the normal. <laughs> but it did it, it is it does feel like a lot. A zombie almost in every room. It'll also be really easy to block off those stairs. I can just take a table. Is there a, a long table? Because then I can just rotate it, I think. And that'll work as a great... Oh, there's a desk upstairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that desk downstairs. I think this is the last one. <laughs> Did you see that animation trying to vault over the top of the stairs and it tried to turn into a fall? And we just floated in air for a second while the game tried to figure out what to do with our character. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? curtains. There was a sheet downstairs. Maybe I do that. And that way I don't have to steal curtains from anywhere. Oh, I could just steal from downstairs though, because I'll board up all the windows eventually. Yes, I know. Very, very heavy. It's okay. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't place it like that. I guess it's considering it outside. Stop, stop, stop. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. I don't want to do any of these things. There you go. Perfectly protected. Do I have nails? If I have nails, I'll set up. I don't. I don't think there are any up here. I was going to say I'll set up a sheet rope, but not necessary. There was a sheet. It's okay. I'm just gonna see if there any there's any standout loot and I'll worry about sewing kits definitely standout loot. I wanna take that home with me. I do not have a needle. I currently do not have a needle. So that's actually a huge advancement. <laughs> a huge advancement. And then yeah, don't really care about anything in here. 
So time to read foraging and uh, chill. Chill for the rest of the night. Read foraging. Tomorrow, wake up, chop tree. Hey, uh, the still rat seven. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Rat seven is holding on. We actually had a great bit of luck. Just came into a huge amount of farming stuff. So winter is looking a lot more manageable. Winter is suddenly uh, going to be a lot more manageable. Now we're just reading foraging until it's around midnight. And that should have us waking up right at daybreak. Right at daybreak. Where are you where are we at? Um I'm in the farming houses near Jamie Jamieton. I'll uh, I'll pull it up on our map. When we when she's about to go to bed. Which is right now. Alright, go ahead and eat this candy so you don't starve to death in the middle of the night. There was a decent amount of food downstairs. Like not a ton, but at least some canned food downstairs. We're pretty mo pretty bare. You mean Jacksonville? Yeah, the J Town. We're at J Town. Oh shit! I didn't look at the map. I'll do it. I'll do it now. So, uh, the Army Surplus Store is right here. If you're familiar with that location, uh, and then we're we went down this road and this is the first farmhouse we've stopped at there should be another one nearby which we'll go looting looting in a little bit and uh for overall map location uh riverside is over here and rosewood somewhere over here but jamieton is Jamie Ton. Jamie Ton. Bridgerton? Bridgerton? <laughs> Jamie Ton. Pushing, still pushing from the forest? Yeah. Although, I think I'm going to turn this into a dedicated base right now. We'll, we'll have a little forward operations base, but uh, I'm going to, I'm going to soup that base up. I'm going to soup. We're going to pimp our ranger station, essentially. Uh, did I unlock the back door? Yes. Alright. I need to make more spears. I have hardly any. Where's my axe? Get that out. I'm gonna start chopping tree. Make spear, go engage big group. I think I have some kitchen knives on me. Let's start start with those. Oh, and I can leave my tent here too. I don't need to carry all that weight around.
I guess there's actually a lot, a lot I can uh, get rid of. Uh, for now, sure. Where do I want to put things? Uh, I'll just put them in the fridge. Fuck it. I'm going to keep the bowl on me. I don't need the crowbar. Don't need these extra cigarettes. Don't need the trowels. Broken. I want you, oh fuck. I want you to go on the zombie. Give me. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Welcome in, Musashi. San? Musashi san? Welcome in. Just organizing my inventory and getting ready for some zombie slaughter. Ew. Alright. I'm gonna have to move that one further away. It's got the flies. It's got the flies. Hello? Hello to you? Oh, a car. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh my gosh. I was not aiming in the right direction. Jeez, okay. Focus up. Let's focus up. I don't want to die. <laughs> Not when I've collected this many seeds. No mistakes. Only jab. This is... <laughs> Have any of you had this much, like, this good, like, seed luck killing farmer zombies out, like, near farmland? This is crazy to me. It feels like every other zombie I kill, I'm just being gifted mass amounts of seeds. And I, I do play in farmland areas. I feel like I, I played a lot by the Moldra farmhouse. I killed so many zombies by West Point farmhouses. I've never seen this many seeds. This is fucking blowing my mind. I'm gonna use up all my seed luck. For generations to come. <laughs> On future rats, when I'm desperately hoping for sp seeds and not getting any, I'm gonna blame Rat 7. I must learn to make spears. Spears are good. They're a little more involved than other weapons, but they are good. So I'll I'll give a I'll give a quick spear explanation breakdown. You're gonna want three carpentry. Three carpentry lets you craft spears that are full condition. If you don't have more than three carpentry, you'll craft spears 
okay well i don't none of these have rolled damage yet um but you'll they won't be full condition so you'll be wasting a lot of resources um essentially and then also you want high maintenance and high spear level essentially spears have five hits from what i understand they have five points of health so every time you hit with a spear your character is rolling a chance for that spear to take damage so they're very brittle they're very brittle weapons so you're going to want to carry like a bunch a bunch with you but if you can deal with all of those things the spear is a fantastic weapon. It's a fantastic weapon. I'm like 20 points away from three. Do it. Get it. Get you. You could actually, honestly, you could make some shit spears. You also get carpentry from crafting spears. So you could just craft a whole bunch of spears if you if you got the logs. Oh, and uh. You can either use branches or planks and then you either need a chipped stone or any kind or some kind of knife and then you can use the knife or chipped stone to turn turn your l branches or planks into spears. He's fun. Is a project zomb zomboid worth the money? Meat ball jello for me it is definitely worth the money for me i've got a thousand hours in this game i'm playing for like 0. 0.0 cents <laughs> 0. 0 cents per hour uh but if you don't like sandbox games if you don't like survival games you will hate this game <laughs> you will not you won't like it so if you like those kinds of things, I think go for it. It's around 20 bucks. It is difficult. You're going to have to do a lot of learning in PZ outside of the game. Either spending a lot of time fucking up and learning bit by bit in the game or <laughs> turning to wikis to master master the game but if you if you like that if a difficult survival situation is something you're interested in i can't recommend this game more if you were yeah i, I can't recommend it more and also this game is it's got a ton of mods so it's highly like you can do a lot of tweaks. You can do a lot of tweaks to it if there's a certain kind of gameplay you're looking for. <laughs> can I mod it? I came from WoW. Cool hat. We got our we got our rat ears. We got our rat ears. So are you are you are you looking more for the multiplayer? Since you came from WoW, I play solo, but there is a there is a good big multiplayer community. Oh my god, so many seeds! I this is odd. <laughs> this many seeds is crazy. I like this. Is, I have more. I have more. We we've found like over twenty packets of seeds. Maybe <laughs> that's fucking insane. All right, that's the other house I want to take a peek into. Oops, all seeds. I'll fucking take it. I'll fucking take all seeds since I have been starving to death recently. Oops, all farming. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. If you hate dying, you'll hate... Okay, that is also good. If you hate dying, you'll hate PC. If it'll lose... Well, okay, but also you can play PZ and turn infection off. You can play PZ and turn, like, the zombie infection off. You don't have to play it that way. You can play it like you have your Ellie from The Last of Us and you are the chosen one and you can't get infected by the zombies. Do whatever the fuck you want. Little it's your pig, game. Little pig, <laughs> let me in. 
Welcome in, Meatball Jello. Also, I don't want to think about the image that your name conjures up. I don't like it. It's either clear jello with meatballs in it, which, mm, don't like that. Or jello, just flate brown jello, just flavored like a meatball. Don't like that image either. Don't like them. Sorry. <laughs> You're great. But the jello. Or maybe it's supposed to be jello. Maybe. Oh my gosh, double seed. <gasps> it's such a vibrant corset color. I must have it. Uh oh, are you starving? You are starving again. Time for another lollipop. I'm playing very dangerous right now, but I don't have a lot of food. But eating the one piece of candy at the point of starvation has been working very well. It's been working great. Okay, I want to see real quick on the big map. Okay, so this just goes down. This just goes down to a bunch more houses, so... I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. I I saw these two mailboxes out here and I was like, what are these two mailboxes for? Whose house do those two mailboxes belong? Also, look at all this empty space. Look at all this empty space. And then uh, the random tree generation decided to say, no, fuck you house. <laughs> fuck you house all inside. None out here. All inside. Agitated means smoke break. Agitated means smoke break. Something happened Tuesday. Everything okay? Everything is fine. Uh, so what happened Tuesday is I fucked up my save file during backing it up. Long story short, instead of backing up my save file, I replaced it with a backup. And thus I have lost many, <laughs> many hours of hard work in progress. Many, many hours of hard work in progress. I've also just fucked myself out of certain loot. I just got eaten by the void. Eaten by the void. Namely, every drivable car that I had seen or touched at all in Jamieton uh, was deleted from the map. They're gone. There are no vehicles. I have no no good vehicles anymore at all. <laughs> so I'm on the hunt. I'm, I'm hoping if I go further out to never, ne completely never before seen places, I'll generate some new cars. Uh, I also deleted uh, a bunch, all of the ammo and guns that I gathered from the army surplus store. That's just gone forever. <laughs> It's just gone forever. Um, and most devastatingly, most devastatingly, I, so how I play this world, how I play this save file is uh, when one character dies, a new character is born somewhere else on the map. So you can kind of see the areas activ of activity I've been in. Uh, and rat one, my first, first rat ever of this world, uh, 
born here, walked, walked so far, uh, and then died up here. In the old save file, before I fucked it all up, I had recovered this character. I had killed her. I had carefully put her in a duffel bag. And then I put that duffel bag inside of a vending machine right here to store her until I was ready to create a beautiful and elaborate grave memorial site for her. <laughs> uh, fucking up my save file, deleted her from the garbage or from the vending machine and going and returning to this place. I do not see her. I did not see her. So... I might have fucked that up. I might have uh, fucked that up. That's my thing. I go back and I try to collect all the dead rats. I've collected two of the six. I, well, I guess I had I had collected three until until disaster struck. But I'm gonna hold out hope, and maybe she just wandered somewhere. Maybe she's still out there. I'll, I'll, I'll live in denial for a little bit. I'll the live in denial for a Let little bit. <laughs> Welcome in, stars. Stars in NHO? Or is it star, stars in ho? <laughs> I don't know. Or it could be stars eno, I guess. Don't give me too many options. I see more. The most I've ever spent on a game was 60 hours. Well, I'm a streamer, so sh streaming is different. You spend a lot of time, but it hurt. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It hurt. That, that has hurt more than any character death. <laughs> that has hurt more than any character death. But still, just like a death in PZ, it's my own damn fault. It's my own damn fault. So the only thing to do is to keep going. I like the twins. I like the gray-haired granny and grandpa in matching flannel. At least, oh my god, so many seeds. I I am amazed. I will never need seeds again. If I ever need seeds, I will just come to these bountiful lands. These bountiful lands in Jamieton. Ooh. Three level ups this stream. Three level ups, thank you. <laughs> Love the rat lore. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. I mean that it makes the game fun for me. It's it's a little bit of storytelling in this continuing world of pain and suffering. I'll do the prediction, and we can do a long one, because I know I'm going to have to probably... I can maybe ignore them. Maybe ignore them, but I'll definitely check around some more. We're going to do it. I already have a bowl, so bowl is not on the list. What will we find inside house number two? A big pot? A roasting pan? A frying pan? Or... Nothing. Or nothing. All right, five minutes. Five minutes should be good. Remember, play the odds. There, equal, there's an equal chance of any of those things being inside the house. So play the odds.
and don't go all in, please. <laughs> I don't want to root against you too much. Don't go all in on nothing. I'm channeling all of my energy for Big Pot. Give me Big Pot. I want to make... Uh, well, maybe, maybe Big Pot will be bad. I changed my mind. Give me Frying Pan. Give me Frying Pan. I do want a big pot, but its usefulness out here where there is no water will be very limited. Over here. Oh, trying to hit me with that jump scare. I'm rock solid. Ooh, painkillers? Although the game has jump scared me quite a bit today, to be fair. Not that rock solid. Not that rock solid. There have been quite a few times the game has made me gasp. All right, okay, so we got at least one inside. Apart from that, it's oddly very clear over here. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Oh, you're starving little to pig, death again. Little pig, little pig! Let me in! Sorry, I'm just... I just gotta feed her one tiny piece of candy before she completely expires. Oop, don't look in the house. Don't look in the house. No windows on the back. Indie stone. What is... What is it with you in making no windows on the backs of houses? I feel like that's very... That's very weird. People, people look into their backyards. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. All right, welcome in, Dark. <laughs> dark Bringer. Guild Wars Two. Dark Bringer. Guild Wars Two. There is an extra R. I'm just assuming that R is added on for dark bringer dang it it played late no i paused i mean you you you, you got paused all right i want to look inside but i'm resisting i'm resisting for the sanctity of the gamba oh yeah, I'll kill these people, I guess. I guess that's what's going on. I didn't mean to grab literally all of you except for one. But I guess that's what's happening. Oh, come on. That was the perfect opportunity for an instant kill. Couldn't get any kills there. Just only little pokes. Oh. Last one. Gosh. Too, too many seeds. I, I hate to say it. It's too many seeds. Oh my gosh, and another, where is it, another trowel? Oh my god. 
Man, if we could eat seeds without having to grow, grow them, we'd already have a good, a good stockpile. Good stockpile. All right, prediction is over. I'm going to start peeking. I'm going to start peeking into the house. Three on one zombie. The heck is this? Nice. I've had three on one zombie before, but it was like three on one zombie after finding no seeds for like forever. Not like every zombie's pockets are stuffed to the brim with seeds. If, if you're not used, if this is your first time seeing this game, that is not normal. We are all flabbergasted by that. I don't know what's going on. I wonder if it's because being so hungry while fighting the zombies. I, it can't be that though. It just must be basic, the basic loot table out here. But it is fucking crazy. And I'm playing with the normal apocalypse loot settings. Ooh, okay, we got a party house. Can I get this open? Got food on the floor. Not a lot of zombies, though, in this house, from what I'm seeing. Only two downstairs. Okay, that door's locked. You should get a bird. I would love a pet. I would love a pet. All right, this is the window I opened, right? Ooh, this is a pretty cool kitchen layout. I do vibe with this kitchen layout. Okay, don't, no thank you. No thank you! Oh, I don't like this. Just a big, I don't know, big open hallway. You could put lots of loot containers here and then you could just open it up or run in, deposit all of your shit. This is a little weird. This is a little weird for the upstairs. That kind of area. I do like the setup of this house. It has like, this is a little room, you know, your, that could be your sewing room. Got all your clothes, cleaning, washing stuff. This is your media room. You can put all your books, VHSs, CDs, whatever you want down here. I mean, this is actually a pretty good house setup, and you've got your whole dedicated food kitchen area, which is also fairly large. You could put, you could just put a wall of fridges here. Just a wall of fridges. All right, upstairs. New base? I don't know. Uh, the other one has a carport. The other one has a garage. All right, I hear zombies, so I'm going to call out and see if anyone comes downstairs. So you've been streaming like 10 hours? No. Only close to seven. And 30 minutes of those are not real. And I definitely hear a zombie up here. Let's let's knock on some doors. I mean, it definitely sounds like there's... There we go. <laughs> With the spear break on the hit? Hello. Hello. 
Two naked zombies. What were you doing in there? What were you doing? We'll never know. <gasps> the clothes are on the floor. It is. It's one of those meta events. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a terrible way to go in the zombie apocalypse. Which one of you was the culprit? Which one of you was the zombie? Okay. Considering that half of your rib cage is gone, I'm going to assume this dude. This dude was the zombie. And then he fucking ate the shit out of you. <laughs> okay. Interesting bedroom layout. I don't love it. I don't love it. Little closet. Another bedroom. And then a big bathroom. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Let's check the kitchen. What do we got? Let's get the points paid. Oh, not a big pot. Just a... Oh, there's the roasting pan. Uh-oh. I fucked up. What if we have more than one... What if we have more than one cooking device? All right. I can't p select multiple options. If there's more than one cooking device, I will just have to cancel the poll. Just so we're all aware. <laughs> just, or not a bet. We'll have to, I'll have to cancel the prediction. It's not a poll. But you look fucking safe. I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not seeing any big pot. Not seeing any big pot. It looks like roasting pan is the winner. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check every other container in the house, just, I guess for shits and giggles, just in cases. But I think it's roasting pan. Also, extreme validation for not, I know, so I have no cooking device. I just found a bowl and I just found this roasting pan. After like two or three months of life. I had a roasting pan and I left it here. On purpose to provide potentially for any rats of the future that might be born into this very extremely isolated cabin. Oh, I lost 1000 points, by the way. You went too big. You went too big. It's completely random guess. But uh, since leaving that roasting pan behind, which I have regretted and I have thought about going to get as, as recently as at, at the start of the stream, I thought about doing a run to go get it. But I resisted and I have been rewarded. I have been rewarded. Finally, after all this time. Ooh, stockings. Perfection. Suitcase. Pink shell jacket. They have a pot in here. Nope. Ooh, another sewing kit. All right, pay up. Here we go. Roasting pan. Ooh. Enjoy your points. What's this payout? There you go. 11.7K. To the Lynn Addict and four others. Enjoy your points. Enjoy your points. All right. Now we need to compare. Now we need to compare. All right. Perks about this house. Uh, pretty cool. Uh oh, wait. We got to eat candy first. 
pretty cool downstairs layout. Uh, but I don't even I don't even really need to talk about it. I'm not I'm not gonna base there. I'm not gonna base there. I like I like the amenities of the other place better. And also, see how this has like a little porch here? I wanna see if I can get... I wanna see if I can get onto the roof. Alright, I'm just gonna make sure she's not over encumbered before we do this god i hope it doesn't break the arm break the arm break the legs all right so there is no roof up there that is unfortunate that's very unfortunate i was hoping it was roofed because then that could give me easy access to uh rooftop gardening I think they fixed it, so I can't build, I can't build a little, I'll find out. Do we have nails here? I need to consolidate. It's been eight days since the last helicopter event, so I will have one more day here. One more day here before I think I need to head back, head back to the cabin. So I need to focus on consolidating all of the stuff and figuring out what I bring with, want to bring with me. So let's do that. Let's get all the stuff together. Let's get all the stuff together. Random ass clothes, I'm actually going to pre-sort and put them away. A tiny bit, a tiny bit of decorating. Maybe I need that sheet. Okay, so cosmetic or decorative bathroom items are going to go in there. And then first aid can go in that one. That bathroom's done. This closet is done. This place... This room is done. The bedroom. That's where I'm putting everything. Anything in here? Give me the yarn. I wish crocheting was in this game. I wish knitting. That was one of my first debates. First debates in this game. I collected the knitting needles and I was like, I can't wait. I can't wait till I can make a sock. <laughs> I can't wait until I can make a sock. Only to find out, not possible. Not possible yet. Ooh, getting the perfume. I feel so good to decorate. I'm gonna put the little ducky over here.
Alright, that looks good. Close that door. I think the upstairs... I can say I've done a pretty good job looting that. Uh, I'm gonna add the sheet here. Congrats on the roasty dudes. Roasty toasty. Who was I kidding? Waiting and getting the rest of my points passively. The temptation is too real, nice vibe. Sorry, I was performing my second job, cat valet. <laughs> okay, this bookcase, I've got to fix this bookcase. It cannot, cannot look like this. I can't pick and move that couch yet, unfortunately. What an awful arrangement of furniture, by the way. Terrible. It's terrible. Alright, pens. Book, newspaper, comic, foraging. I'm keeping on myself because I'm reading it. I just gotta organize loot in here. I swear, the par paranoia is so real. All I hear, all I hear is zombie noises. Uh-oh. Quick, eat your piece of candy. I wish I had a big box. I wish I had a big box down here. Oh, this is only 26. Alright, I'm just gonna put shit on a pile. No. I'll put things in this closet. I don't love it. That's what I'll do. This is stuff I really want to take with me. Or I'll eventually definitely take with me. Right, nettles are my new only food source. <laughs> Bowl I want to take. Blue plate. There you go. There's your new home. Don't be bored. You've just been inside for like half a day. Please. Please, rat. You can't be bored yet. You've just been inside for like a singular day. Not even a full day. How dare you. I'm offended. I'm offended that you say you're bored. The rest of the stuff goes... Oh, goodness. 
Downstairs. Let me close this window. Everything else needs to be organized uh, somewhere else. Some of it I think I'm going to put outside. Mm, you're thirsty. Does that mean... Yeah, I've got to fill up your water. It's fine. I will steal... Steal from the toilet. That's that's the biggest issue. This water issue right now. That's the biggest issue for living out here. I cannot make water up here. Right now, this place doesn't have... doesn't have a can opener, but the other house does. Can I make a salad with sardines? No. I can make a roast, though. <gasps> Wait, I can't make a roast with an open can of sardines, either? Damn. Jabated. No mods for it? Oh, there's probably a mod. Sorry for knitting. And maybe, yeah, maybe build 42. Build 42 is going to have a lot of creative things. I can't wait. But I'm, I'm trying to play as much vanilla PC, right? PZ right now as I can. Dog food is the next meal. Dog food is the next meal. Where, where are the cigarettes? There you go. Question. Did you ever watch that bit from Archer? Where they kept talking about knitting needle? Only for the knit, the knits to be a red herring joke. What are those containers? These are fanny packs. You can wear a fanny pack on the front and on the back. They're in vanilla. You can find them on like vacationing zombies. They will be wearing them, or uh, oftentimes, like, I find I found a bunch in like lockers and stuff. That's a good place to look for them. But I'll show you. I had never seen this happen before. But over, over here at this little cabin, it's like a little fishing cabin. I found two vacationing zombies in like flip flops and Hawaiian shirts with fanny packs. I had never seen that before in PZ and I thought it was hilarious because <laughs> I'd always wondered. I'm like, can you find a fanny pack on a zombie? I've never I've never seen it. I've never seen one in the wild until I found one here. Oh, that's from a mod. The clown mask in costume. Uh-oh. Why did I minimize my game? I meant to minimize the map. Alright, read until midnight, and then you can go to bed. 
leather pants that's the dream clothing to find oh broasted garlic rat six rat six had leather pants she still died to a single bite from a zombie, but she did. She had a leather pants. Found them from a survivor house. It's pretty dope. The pants might still be on her. So if I kill her, I'll have leather pants. I'll have leather pants. Rat six died in a tragedy. <laughs> the tragedy of one spinny zombie. All right, she's tired. That's enough reading. Uh, I will set the table. It's a little bit of an extra step and probably entirely unnecessary due to how much, how much clearing I've been doing. But, oh, shh. Okay, yes, this is today. Today, I think I need to get out of Dodge. I'm going to loot that other house, come back here, figure out what I'm doing with shit. And then I need to run back because I don't want to trigger the helicopter event here at all. I don't want to fuck around with all the clearing I've been doing by <laughs> inviting chaos inviting chaos all right they have the food in case we start starving I got a couple things to ditch in the shed oh Goodness gracious. It's too early for house house guests. Oh, secret one hiding in the tree. Oh my gosh, how many? Just just you two? Wow, I'm glad I called out. I'm glad I called out and just didn't run over to try to quickly finish off that last one. Alright, we're doing a little more clearing than I want. Have you heard the tragedy of Rat 6? And the Wises? Farming magazine? Oh my gosh. You know what? I fucking love these zombies here. What the fuck? Why do you have so much good loot on you? A magazine? You're just walking around with a farming magazine? You guys don't have a fishing or bird trapping magazine do you because i could sure use that 
I could sure use the magazine for fish traps and or and or bird traps. Okay, cool. Wonderful box. I'm going to deposit the, uh, some of this miscellaneous, miscellaneous shit. Uh, that's an extra saw. Okay, yes, that is an extra saw. Don't need these trowels. I should have left those tweezers upstairs. I should leave the tweezers and the bath towels upstairs. I wish I had another bag. Having another bag would have made... will make the transfer of goods between the two houses easier. Did you see me? Dude stayed invisible for so long circling that tree. He wasn't a good farmer, he needed the reference material. That would be me as a farmer, without, without the internet. Like, let me keep the instructions on me at all times. I might know them by heart, but I love to keep them there just for reference. Right. Please form the conga line. Damn, I really want to PZ, but like I got homework to do, but like I got to work tomorrow. So like this is the only time to have fun. Can you bargain with yourself? Can you bargain with yourself? Can you spend like one more hour on homework and then an hour or two on PZ? Am I a bad influence? <laughs> Maybe. But... Sometimes your brain needs a break. Sometimes your brain needs a break. And it's good. And it's good. The zomb loot changes as time goes by. Might be why you're seeing an increase in change. That could be. I have never lived this long in a PZ game. <laughs> I have never lived this long in a PZ game. This deep into the apocalypse. Oh wait, no, I'm not going that way. That's right, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. Oof. Yeah, this house sucks. Look at all these trees. I would have to chop down all of these trees to feel comfortable basing here. But I, I do like this layout. If it had a better location. Alright, farming one. Foraging one I don't need. First aid two.
uh, I'm not wasting the space on you right now. I guess I'm just actually picking what I want and then I'm going to haul ass because it is getting late in the day. All right, I already have mechanics. One, what do we got? Bourbon? Red wine? An empty sewing kit? Give me the soda. What is this? More bourbon? More pop? Right, I think that's good. Kitchen is next. Yep. Can opener and all the canned food. Oh, there's two can openers. Perfect. I'll leave... I'll leave one here. Or maybe I'll take both. Maybe I'll take both. One I can leave back at the other base. And one I can keep on me at all times. If I have room, I'll take the soft... the... Ooh, muffin tray. We got quite a quite a few cooking utensils from here. I'm thinking about composting. I'm thinking about composting. Wait. Let's head back. And analyze our loot, figure out what's the most important to take with us. And then r get ready to run back to Deerhead Creek Base. together and I'll mark oh, us with a special shit. sign. It's a symbol, symbol of, of our friendship. friendship. <laughs> X Bear X. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Getting an extra dose of those wonderful friendship forever chemicals. Day is dishing out. Alright, towels. Rip sheets, you know what you can stay in there. I have bandages. I do not. Give me this band-aid. I'll take one band-aid with me. One band-aid with me and one empty mug. Maybe could lose the muffin. Bourbon. I'm actually gonna leave you behind. I'm don't foresee if I'm using Molotov cocktails, they'll probably be in this area. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to take take all this shit. Uh well some I can leave behind. Could also eat some of it now. Are you ready for your depression meal? Mm, delicious. <laughs> delicious dog food. You can't cook with this as far as I know. Nothing I've tried has worked. So it's best just to eat it. 
And then we'll take some some happy pills. The struggle meal? No, this is a great reward. This or more nettles. <laughs> more nettles. Those are your options. Either leaf or dog food. You pick. You pick. All right, I'm going to take the canned food. It has to be opened with a can opener. And I will leave behind the rest of the food. And I'm not going to have a ton of farming space. So I think I'm only going to bring cabbage. And potato seeds. That's what I'll use to get through winter. And then I just gotta check what else, what else we got in the closet. I mean, the baking thing would be nice. Sewing kit. One gardening spray can. And I will take one trowel. And the rotten bread? Ooh, and then I need to fill up. Do I have a backup? No, I have a backup water bottle. Okay, I think it should be good. It's 12 o'clock. Let's begin the journey home. Where am I on the map? I've lost us. Okay, we're right here. I'm kind of curious. Put your hands together. Eat the rotten bread. A sign. No. It's a symbol of our friendship. Heckle, thank you for the three months. And you are now 3% milk. You are now 3% milk. Hmm. What if it's an older school zombie apocalypse not made by a virus or disease, but an actual, <laughs> but an act of God or actual magic? Get the fuck out of here, zombies. Why are there so many of you over there? I know, that's, you gotta pick. There are two types of zombie apocalypse. There's, like, a fantasy a magic zombie apocalypse, which you're right. That Those are the voodoo apocalypses of old. And then there's the science uh, rage monkey virus. Of 28 days later. <laughs> the science. My favorite zombies are the mute, like the rabies virus mutated and created zombie zombies. I like that one. I like that one. All right, I'm checking this road. Because this is the main road, I'm pretty sure. There's so many zombies. I hear them behind me.
Yeah. Oh, sorry. This will connect up to the main road. And it's definitely uh, going to be long. Oh, fire axe. No, no, no. I'm not fighting right now. Sorry. I'm not fighting right now. I'm re reconnaissance mission. Reconnaissance mission. Seeing if there might be any cars on the main road. Any cars in decent condition to drive. And also how many zombies per chance might be on the main road. <laughs> the pan the panic was real there for a second, wasn't it, Rat? You felt it. You felt the the fear. The fear. Okay. This is just like a lot of zombies, man. This is just like a lot of zombies, man. Look at that car. Look at that car. That might not, that might not be a total beater. I may be able to fix that up. <laughs> Sorry, can't kill you right now. Please hold until I come back with killing thirst. <laughs> it's more like killing time. I want to get fully, oof, I want to get fully out of this area. If the zombie apocalypse is an act of god or magic, then we need to know if you can kill them with weapons. Or does it need to be holy magic? It's time to turn undead. It's time to turn undead. About face. It's D&D &D time. You have to walk away from me. It's in the rule book. It's hard to read chat and run down the road with all these large groups of zombies. Alright, I'm gonna have to take a sit. I'm gonna have to take a sit when I encounter potentially the next clear space, which might be right here. Right here. Holding shift to get up faster. I see another police roadblock. Or the first one Rat7 has seen. I'm gonna mark this down too. Oh, by the way, I'm pressing the hot or C to center center the map on my location. There are fungi zombies, mutant zombies, nanobot zombies. So many zombies. Zombies in every flavor. Also, you need water? You need water? Are you or am I not am I I'm not out of water, right? Okay, cool. And I also have a can of pop, I believe, right? Two cans of pop. And I guess the red wine if I really want to risk it. Ooh. This is a pretty clear car wreck. Oh, but you're you're not drivable, are you? You look like I could not get inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what about cranberry zombies? The best ones, right? Battery... You followed me all the way over here? I don't have time for you. Okay, so that one does not have any gas. Maybe the other one does. Alright, and now I'm on the main road. Ooh, ooh, car. Car. Your ham, orange, and peas are rotten. Yes, they are. Donnykins, yes. Okay, this is a fucked car. No battery, no gas. I'm carrying them with me for composting. I'm hoping to accelerate my uh, winter farming by getting compost going as soon as I can. I left my dirt sack behind. Where did I leave my sack? Fuck, well, we're, we're, we were going back anyway, but we're going back even earlier than I thought I would be going back. Furry zombies. Hey, animal zombies are the ter terrifying. Furry zombies, that's basically like a, like a werewolf with rabies. <laughs> No fucking thank you. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Danny H M Dan Dan Danim. I don't know. I H M is not a structure that is normally said in English. <laughs> Danny H M. Okay, cool. How do you compost? Uh, can I do it? Carpentry? You gotta build a compost. It's under furniture. You can build a composter. You need two carpentry, five planks, four nails. And then you just put the rotten food in there. And whatever your compost time is set to, default, it's two weeks. Over the course of two weeks, your food will turn into compost. You can, it'll also, the act of composting generates worms, and you can also put worms into the composter, and it should speed up the process of composting. No, you can't use zombie parts. It's only rotten food, but every type of rotten food can be put in a composter. Like, you can put a bowl of rotten soup, and, uh... You'll, after two weeks, you'll be left with a clean bowl. Same thing with canned goods. So you can put, like, a rotten can of, like, an opened rotten can of, I don't know, potatoes. And then you'll be left with just a clean can. No cars. No cars on this road. That was one of my other things I wanted to find out. How traffic... How traffic jammy is this road? Are there going to be a ton? Is there going to be a ton of congestion on it? Like, don't even bother. But so far, at least this part has been pretty clean. No zombies either. Like, no zombies hanging out. It's weird. It's weird. Oh wow, that's good to know. I wasn't aware of that feature. Yes, I love all... <laughs> I love all the non-combat stuff of PZ. I love the killing zombies too. But I think I could enjoy PZ. Even without the zombies. I'd have to really like tweak the loot settings to make it difficult. Make it an actual, actually even more difficult survival experience. Why am I even bothered trying to kill you not on the road? I, I still don't have a car. 
Why do I worry? <gasps> Thank you. We, I can't, she, I do have the burglar profession, so we could hotwire cars, but I do love not having to smash windows. Let's just see if it'll... I mean, oh fucking K. I mean, it'll probably, you hear that squeaking? It'll probably uh, collapse at any moment. But hey, for now, I have another shit car to use. Okay, this has zero battery and zero gas. So I'm also gonna mark this on the map. And I'm going to use uh, this symbol, so that combined with the X lets me know this car is a piece of shit. This car is a piece of shit. My bad. Oh, you had the key in you? <gasps> Thank you, car. Thank you, trash car, for giving me a sack. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I really appreciate that, car. You have no idea. That saves me actual IRL time. Alright, now the trick is, I know this car could probably explode or die at any second, so I'm not... If I see a large horde of zombies, I abandon the car. The car... I do not risk taking this trash heap near an actual group of zombies that might kill me. Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. Ayo? Heosul? I know you told me how to say it before. The brain is just saying Aosul. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Soul. Just soul. God damn it. Alright. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to imprint the correct information into my brain. I still can't change it. <laughs> 60 days. Twitch says once every two months you may change your name. They can explode. Uh, they can catch fire. They can catch fire. Uh, and they can also, tires can pop. Tires can pop. And then also the car can just uh, completely just shut down randomly. So you want to be real careful around large groups of zombies real very very careful because once you get into the car you have to get out of the car and zombies will come and bang on your the the doors okay see that's the kind of thing come on car come on car nice nice Right. see, that's... <laughs> if it wasn't so easy to drive around it and I couldn't have that much clear space, I probably would have just hopped out of the car. But I'll try to get this as close as I possibly can. Save myself as much time as I... Blow the horn? No. No. I'm literally... We're, I don't have... No. Are, don't have we're not wealthy enough to focus solely on zombie fighting right now we're in the scrappy survival era where I'm desperately trying to eat food before starvation takes us
Oh, I'm so glad we found this car. It's saving me so much time. It's so squeaky. Your name is Squeak, car. Your name is Squeak. Oh, see? It just shut off there. It just shut off in the middle of driving. That's what you gotta be worried about, and that all... Okay. Yeah, see? This, this is a fucking leave. Leave the car situation. My lord. Oh, my ladies. Okay, so this is what I was expecting, kind of expecting most of the road to be like. This is what I was expecting most of the journey to be like. Lots of zombies, lots of blood. I haven't missed... Real quick, I haven't missed the short road turn off, have I? No, it's right up here. Perfect. That car almost got us all the way here. I can recover that car. We'll tr I'll try to. I can clear out this way next time I want to go down. Or I can even just run through it as well. But I'll probably try clearing it first. And then I can potentially use shit car. To get to and from location. Even if I could bring shit car just to right here, actually, that's where I want to do. I want to bring shit car over here. And then I can take the back road because the back road is also, except for, no, I think the whole back road is clear. There's no, uh, or, uh, there are no car wrecks on it. There are no car wrecks on it since the deletion of the file. Or the, not the deletion, but the overwriting of the file. I dare you? No. I'm a coward. I'm choosing to live. I'm not very excited to wake up at four in the morning and drive to school and smash a five pound hammer on a 2000 degree chunk of metal. Okay, but that does sound badass. That does sound badass. So I don't know if that helps. <laughs> I don't know if that helps, but it sounds very cool. Is Rat a nomad or do they have a base? Uh, yeah, I was resisting it for a long time because I think it's, I mean, it technically is not a super great, like, long-term location, uh, but I think Rat's going to settle in here for the next several months. This, Rat 7 has spent so much time here, it's got to feel like home to Rat 7. It's gotta feel like home to Rat 7. So I think that's gonna be Rat 7's main little base of operations. And I might do some massive tree chopping projects. Some mass deforestation projects uh, later on in her in her life if she lives that long. But that, so far we're just going to settle in and travel out. She's definitely done the most traveling of any character I've had before. I mean, as a product of her environment, she has to travel.
But yeah, I don't know. I haven't fully committed to it, but I'm entertaining the idea of potentially making a <laughs> making and doing another big road project in PZ using the remove dirt function. I cut through right there and then I clear up the rest of this dirt path to make it good for driving. Oh, maybe not right here. Maybe just straight through right there. Just straight so you can ignore all of this. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. It'll be a huge project, so I don't really want to commit to it, but <laughs> I am entertaining the idea. I love, I love a big project. You know what we haven't had in a while? A spear charge? You want a spear charge? There we go. Any zombies? Any zombies around? Ooh. Almost impaled ourselves on that tree. Let's have a little sit. Let's have a little sit. How long has this character survived? Two months, five days, 2018 zombies killed. Not too shabby, rat. Not too shabby. Do you remember where it is to mark it so you don't forget? I always forget, so I have to leave a mark. No, I I know the map pretty well, but I do like to mark up my bases. So I'll, I'll show you what symbol. I use a combination of symbols. So to denote like the little cabins the rats spawn in and forward operation basis so i can do that right now with this one down here boop i use a little house symbol for places that i consider more permanent or more official base set up sets up i kind of use this symbol which makes me feel like it's a fortified fortified base and then i put the little tent on top as a roof and it just looks like a little fancier, fancier house in comparison. That's, that's what I do to Mark. Spear charge, mad lads. Only when there are no zombies around. Only when there are no zombies around and there's a very large area. I'm too, I'm too nervous with the spear charges. I might, I'll practice them someday. Probably once I have full tailoring and have leather patched all of my character's gear on the off chance that, not on the off chance, on the very likely chance I fuck it up. Any massive shit and the zombie can destroy me. I fear, I fear the spear charge. There's a clip. I should, I should, uh, I should make a command for that. <laughs> the spear charge fail. I, I have my character running to do a spear charge. Accidentally tap a tree. Trip, fall, fuck up my character's leg. <laughs> and have to abort the mission for the rest of the day. Because the first zombie... I saw and tried to kill. I fucked it up. It's da I, it was it's dangerous. You fuck around and then you do find out sometimes. You do find out sometimes. All right, I think this is the last curve and then we're home free. Home free. I 
I think I may drink that entire bottle of wine. Put Rat to sleep with that. I'll have another big wine bottle for collecting and uh, purifying water. I think that's the plan for tonight. Excellent spear charge, 8 out of 10. I'm getting smoother at it. Maybe that's the trick. Just get really little used pig, to running around like pig. that. Let me in. Welcome in, Twitchy Jenny. No. Twitchy Genji? Or it could be Gen 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 Gengi. <laughs> I think it's Jenny. I'm gonna go with the soft G. I'm gonna go with the soft G. Twitchy Jingy? I don't know where I got... No, it could be Jinji. It could be Jinji. It could work. I see the letters. Damn, I usually only survive a couple of weeks Oh. J. Name Jinji. Big orange hair lad. Okay, okay. Well, folks, good night. Off to Wisconsin tomorrow for a weekend birthday trip. Have a good night. Happy birthday. Is it your birthday? I think it's your birthday. Happy... Happy birthday. Have a good night. <laughs> okay, I was like, Gingy? Okay. Big ass glitch caused typo. No worries, no worries. <laughs> Damn, I usually only survive a couple weeks before I get cocky and decide to take on the whole population of Rosewood with a pistol and 20 rounds of ammo. <laughs> Yeah, that might get you killed. That might get you killed. 20, 20 rounds of ammo for a pistol? Not enough. I've heard for, for, for leveling, aiming from zero, you're gonna want... You're going to want 300 rounds of shotgun shells. Th those are the figures I always hear. All right, for now, I'm going to hold on to the rotten bacon and use that for shit later on when I get to the appropriate cooking level. I like rotten bacon because you get a, or I like bacon. I don't, the rotten is neither here nor there. I like bacon because you can chop it up twice, which gives you cooking XP. And when you turn it into baking bits, you can use it just as a little bit of seasoning. Because even when you can cook with rotten food, it doesn't, it doesn't give you like a lot of calories and stuff. It's not great. It's not great for eating. Even if you can, even if you have the cooking level and you can cook and eat it, it's still not great. It's not good food. Okay, and you do need to go to bed because I want you up bright and early for fishing. I'm going to put cooking devices right next to the oven. I like that place for them. Oh my gosh, I left my... Oh my gosh, I left so much stuff. Where did I leave my bowl and my... Ugh, okay. I, already, I was already going back. It's fine. It's fine. I completely botched my loot. 
that I was supposed to bring. drinking can opener i want to keep you on me from now on pop i can put you away i can put the soda away i need to read both of these foraging and farming I'll prioritize foraging first because I doubt anything's ready to come out of the ground. You need to be filled up. And then bottle of wine. And then sleep time. Oh shit. Can I not? S I can't set the alarm. <laughs> okay, well, I guess unless you wake up really early. Okay, okay. I can do, I can do 420. We can have like an hour of fishing time. We can have an hour of fishing time. Let's go. Hour of fishing time. You know what? I don't think I have any fucking bait. I don't think I have any fucking bait. Well, whatever I got. Whatever I got. We'll be down here. I guess I, I still have to fill up our bottles. Okay, so I can place the net. I've got three crickets, it looks like. Gonna head out. Take care, Claire. Have a good night. Have a good night. Oh, may I ask what the window with your face on it is? Oh my goodness. No fish, not a single fish for all those. Sure, this is technically a makeup window so what you're going to want to do to get to achieve this look is all you need is the foundation makeup you go to full face and then you get a close-up of your character uh, the portrait does not update uh, you have to update it yourself so if you want to see a change you just select a different makeup and then put it back and then i keep the foraging menu open to cover the makeup menu and now you have your own custom pz portrait all for the small price of foundation makeup <laughs> all for the small price of just keeping foundation makeup with you and the reason why it has to be it doesn't have to be foundation makeup but Foundation makeup comes with a mirror, so you don't have to keep a mirror on your character. Whereas eye, eye makeup and lipstick, you have to either have like a mirror item or do it in front of like an actual 
mirror in game. And foundation makeup is also the one that gives you the full face close up versus something like eyes or lips, which just focuses on that specific facial feature. Okay. So fishing was a bust. The trap is out. I just need to fill up my water bottles and the spray can. Fill all. I need to get this cooked up. And then maybe get some seeds planted. Ooh, look at these carrots. These are not seed bearing. But you know what? Fuck it. I have the I have the zombies for that. I have the infinite zombies. Come here, carrot seeds. I'm gonna eat good tonight. If only I had my bowl and I could make a delicious carrot salad, but alas, I will just be eating raw carrots. I have an aiming mod. I don't fuck around with those RNG bullets. <laughs> Headshots only. I'm actually wanting to go to college because I got college credit in from your high school. Probably going to go for like two years in law and take a job as an officer in my country. Oh man, I missed that. Sounds like you have your plan, your life plan all laid out. And that, that's a good feeling. Knowing what you want to do, knowing the path you need to take to get there, and then executing, <laughs> being able to make progress down that path, that's a good feeling. Having a goal and working towards it. That's why I like PZ so much. <laughs> I can make many a goal and work towards them. All right, it's time for everyone's favorite game. How many sticks? Two minutes on the clock. Uh, we This is how we play the game. It's how many sticks will it take to start the fire? Is it gonna be one sturdy stick? Or will that break and it'll be two sturdy sticks? Or will those break and it'll be three plus? I think all day today, Oh, here, have a bucket of water to drink out of. I think all day it's been either two or three stick. I don't think we've had one stick a singular time. I don't think we've had one stick a singular time. Today. So that means it's got to be one stick this time, right? <laughs> That's what the little voice says. That's what the little voice always says. It's been a real long time. <laughs> we're, co we're cooking up some delicious water. Some delicious water. Have a carrot. I should also... I want to listen to the weather. 
That's the other thing I want to do. Figure out. Because it is 10 days. Last helicopter event was November 8th. So between the next five days, the helicopter event should return. I want to make sure I'm prepared for that. All right, here we go. Oh. No luck. Not one stick. Not one stick. 67% of you. I would have voted one stick too. I would have done it. Two sticks, two sticks all day. Here you go. The points have been pa paid. <gasps> okay, well, that's good to know. You are completely out of fuel. Which means it's time to move inside. Time to move inside to the charcoal grill. Nervous wreck? Okay, I'll get you. I'll get you a cigarette. I'll get you a cigarette. You can't be a nervous wreck out here. There you go. Eight point five K. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. But this is going to be it for the stream tonight. Oh, if you don't, if you don't mind me give you unwanted advice, that is called snowman's soup. All right, but this is going to be it for the stream. I'm going to, let's see who's up. Let's see who we're rating. Who's up tonight? Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the resubs. We had two raids. Shout out Mixed Nuts and Streisen. Yeah. Thank you for the gifted. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm doing I'm peasy all the time. I want to make back. I want to make back that progress.